Welcome to the It's All Fine and Danji podcast, where hosts Dan and Angie talk with creatives, small business owners, charities, and all kinds of interesting people. It's all real talk. It's all fine and dangy. Hey guys, welcome to the show. We are super excited. I mean, we are really excited because we have... How excited are you? Super, super duper excited. That's anyway, pretty excited. So we've done quite a few podcasts on our own since we've been here, but we have our very first guest that has joined us. Woo! In applause. The put the applause in. Put the applause in. I need to put is, some in there. Yay! So we want to welcome Joe Campbell. He's from Golden Goat Gallery. Nailed didn't it. get nailed it. Didn't get tongue tied. Oh, didn't did get tongue tied. We are super excited to have you on and just pick your brain, learn some new things, and be really educated and let others know what you do in the community. Awesome. I'm excited to be here. Yes. yes. I appreciate y'all having me on. Oh, man. We appreciate you coming. This is very exciting. We, you know, you're our first guest in the studio. You're our first guest in our new home in North Carolina. So it's... Uh, yeah. I'm honored. Well, we very are honored. too. Got Thank to meet you. the pups. Yeah. And okay, just so everybody knows, our pups, you know, you know, when you get a dog, like you hope that it protects you from when like <laughs> danger comes or like somebody unexpected comes that they don't know. No, not our dogs. They'll bark at everything else. But Joe pulls up and they both haul did ass have, outside. Did you have steaks or bacon or something <laughs> you were hiding in your clothes? Just wagging I their keep tails treats the whole for, time. Uh, for dogs and uh, humans and other animals, random animals. I keep <laughs> treats for all of them. I can't tell if you're kidding. You I'm definitely like... kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got me. There's you're Werther's like, original in one pocket. Oh, and nice. Do you want to be my friend? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's it was brilliant. hilarious though. Like they literally no noise, just ran out, just the tails, just going as they're yeah. running up to the fence to yeah. greet him. So. I didn't, I didn't think you were actually here yeah. yet. So that's they're very friendly. I've always, I grew up with dogs. I've always been a dog person. And, they can uh, sense it, can't they? Cats do not like me. I don't like cats. So it's a mutual respect. Oh yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. as long as you have that mutual respect, I guess you don't get attacked by them. <laughs> yeah, no. I just I stay away from them. They stay away from me. <laughs> it's yeah. an understood. It's I'm an not, understood. I'm not a cat lady neither. I no. just I'm, I used to house sit for my boss in Florida, and she had cats, and she had ten dogs. So I the have dogs, I'm like, you know, come to me, jungle friends. <laughs> yeah. You know, the cats would sit on a table, and like as you walk by. They would swat at me, like give me attention, and I'm like, I I don't do cats, yeah. you know, like. No, but they would keep trying to get my attention. I'm like, it's just not. Gonna I'm happen. allergic, and they're assholes. Well, <laughs> the second one so, for me, yeah, that's, that's what it is. You know what I mean? You could have just said I'm allergic to assholes and probably covered you know? them. Yeah. All the bases. Well, you know. <laughs> I sneeze often around uh, some people. <laughs> yep, yep. So, so Joe, tell us what the Golden Goat Gallery is. So we are a we, – we like to say we're a cannabis culture shop. Right. I like so, that, that you said that on the website. I think it said that. Yeah, our new banner out front says cannabis and culture shop. That's cool. Uh, gallery um, – Let's Cause, see. I hope uh, cuz when I think gallery, I think of art or something. Right, but yeah. it right. is it. But if you know, if you carry we certain do have products art in there. there. Yeah, and I was going to say certain products you could probably be considered art as well that you I carry. Have, I have glass pieces that are mm. worth a couple thousand dollars. Wow. Oh, that's definitely yeah. art. Yeah. There's some eye candy in there. Yeah, cool. For sure. Uh, the gallery part was mainly and I hope no uh, credit card processors are listening um, <laughs> to get past a few hurdles. Oh. Understandable. That shops like ours have to. Jump. Of course, of course. So yeah, yeah I'm when... excited to get into all that. Just the, the, <laughs> oh god, all the behind the scenes of getting a shop like this up and running. And I mean, it's a battle. It's, yeah, I bet. it's so much more than I come from the skate, bike, and surf industry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I come. Uh, I lived in and worked on Miami Beach for a couple of years before moving here. Oh, nice. To Asheville. Yeah, that's a big uh, culture difference, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. A little bit of a shock. Yeah, it is a different world. Yeah. It's like going from South America to America. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Is, sure. is really what it's like. Um, oh, where were we going with that? Oh, just what, you know, what was it like to get started? What You said you had to jump oh. through some hoops. I, you know, I. Oh, the gallery. B- before yeah. you get into the rest of that, I. I just want to say, it's, it's so ridiculous to me, by the way, that there's so many ridiculous rules. I mean, we've seen so much ground gained in our lifetime mm-hmm. over this topic. Mm-hmm. Big time. Um, and we can all debate this forever, but it, scientifically you can't debate the, the 
alcohol is worse for you than cannabis. But what that's are you just drinking right now. That, I'm Some drinking a, a red wine. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, but, but <laughs> too much alcohol, yes. too much. but I exactly. would say, I would say <laughs> even a little bit of alcohol is worse for you than a little bit of can cannabis, at least for what, from what I've read. So I'm not the specialist you are. So yeah. the specialist, I know that's so funny to <laughs> me. It's like a show. No, I just love weed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me a specialist now. Yeah. Uh, but I'm telling you, we've, we're going to get into this, but we dug down into your website quite a bit, and there there's a lot more to it than just you love and weed. I know you're kidding, but it's... Um, yes and no. I mean, yeah. well, of course, <laughs> you're going to have a passion for it. You wouldn't for have sure, opened the sure. place. Absolutely. Yeah. But as someone that is... I, I was like a major stoner pothead in high school all through, I mean, every day, and for many years thereafter, and then I quit when... When we decided, my first wife and I decided we're going to try to have a kid because I'm like, usually oh, the case. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what it does to your body. I quit smoking cigarettes and everything. Good call there, and I still quit smoking those to this day. Awesome. But my dad was a big smoker all the way until he died, and it's funny because I, all these years later, I tried to smoke, and I don't know what you guys have done with weed. I say you guys, <laughs> but it's a whole different, it was miserable. I, you, I was you, you, miserable. So you and I are going to have to talk you younger about younger generation. You got, yeah, you're, yeah. <laughs> we're going to have 40 year old talk about your products. Hey, because look, 10 years makes a big difference. It, it buddy, really does. Okay? Well, it really does. It does. If, you, ha if you haven't been smoking, because <laughs> sure. this, this stuff will, it, to me, it was like, I could not believe this is me talking when I'm like, I, I could hear light and <laughs> I was had telecon my eyes were cold. It was horrible and I won't do it anymore. But I think it's because I did I didn't know what I was doing, you know, you yeah. have to be careful now yeah. and it, we did the same thing with gummies. I tried to have a gummy to relax and the whole night I was up and it was he terrible. To go to the hospital. And, yep, yep. Like, you know, no, you don't. Like so that. I can explain all of that. For yeah. You. So I want to get into that because I am still interested in in looking back into that mm -hmm. with the right guide and the right like I would want to do it to. I can be your shaman, right? To feel. <laughs> oh man, let's, let's have an ayahuasca conversation <laughs> yeah. too while we're here. But yeah, so we were talking about how you got into the industry because I'm I'm very curious myself. <sighs> luck, luck, and being mm -hmm. ready for for the moment, you know. Uh, kind of paying attention to where things were going and the movement and everything. Kinda. So yeah. when I moved here, I'm coming from skate. Uh, it, it was a skate bike and surf shop on Miami Beach, and then I had a skateboard company before that, and I had a skateboard oh, shop. Oh, nice. Cool. Uh, which was also kind of a fringe industry for a long time. Yeah, it's way more accepted now, especially the surf culture. Everyone wears Billabong and Quicksilver yeah. and all these things, yeah. right? But, but our generation again w was kind of like the first one with that. Yeah, stuff, absolutely. You know? Yeah, Tony uh, Hawk was a kid, not a brand of shoes when yeah. we were kids, right? <laughs> I mean, he, he was pro at like 13 oh, I know. in I the love 80s, his you know, yeah. it's wild. Wow. But what did pro mean back then, you know? You got $11 a week. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Uh, so when I moved here, I had, I, I looked around the, the bike industry and put out some resumes for the, for the bikes. Mm -hmm. Right. There's no surf industry here, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Um, and there was really nothing. And then, you know, I, I went to uh, Ashley Furniture and they were like, all right, cool. You're going to go train in Charlotte for two weeks. I was like, I don't want to do that. I just moved here. I'm going to stay here. I'm living, I was living downtown. Uh, uh, well, I wasn't working yet, but I was living downtown and I didn't really, you know, yeah. on, on Miami Beach, uh, I didn't drive anywhere. I just rode my bike everywhere. Oh, yeah. So we moved downtown here. I'm like, I don't want to drive anywhere. Yeah. My gas bill is zero, yeah. you know? Yeah. Uh, and, which is funny leading on to what I, what I started doing, but, uh, I, I was looking at, at, um, what's the website? What, what's it about? And I'll tell you which one it is. Not Angie's list. Uh, uh, the Craigslist. Craigslist. Oh, yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. Good yeah. Lord. Uh, There's too many lists out there. I did not smoke before I came here. <laughs> Maybe fun. that's the problem. Uh, so I was looking on Craigslist every day, you yeah. know, all day. Uh, there was a. As seen on TV store. It's not there anymore. Oh, over I remember those. Oh, yeah. I remember those in the malls. Yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, I I was looking for a manager position because, you know, I was early You're 30s. Running. That's yeah. what I do. So that was an assistant manager position. He went with someone else. And finally, I saw the ad on, on Craigslist. Do you like vapes and pipes and all this stuff? We're looking for a manager. I'm like, okay. 
I gotta this go. Is my this calling. is my calling. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, I sent in my resume. I got the email back, and it said, "I'll just name names." Hookah hookup. And I was like, "Well, that's right down the street from me. Let me run over there real quick." So I yeah. ran over there. I'm I'm texting with this. Uh, I was emailing with the the regional manager. His name's Connor. Uh, so I go over there. I said, "Hey, I'm looking for Connor." He looks over. He goes, "I'm Connor." I said, I'm the guy you're talking to on email right now. Uh, <laughs> that is and I really want this job. Oh, that's how you get the job. Uh, so it was between me and someone else. And he told me what got it for me was all my crazy stories from Miami Beach. Uh, everything he would ask. Well, tell me about a time when a customer was upset and you helped calm them down. I was like, well, there was a Brazilian lady who didn't speak any English. And I had to <laughs> uh, calm them down somehow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, it was just story after story. But yeah, it's retail. No. I mean, I feel like, and Angie, you were in retail for years. Oh, you tell life, stories yeah. that are similar to your story. Yeah. I love retail. Yeah, I do too. I, I love, love it. it. I, I don't love everything about it. No! But I, <laughs> you know. I don't know how you guys do I, it. I love people. Yep. So just the fact that you just get this influx of different people all the time. And it's almost like a special little challenge to yourself. That used to be what it was for me. A hundred percent. Look at, look how bitchy she looks oh she's gonna like me in like five minutes yep, it, it was yeah like, it's like a special little oh i see it's just a, a competitiveness you have with yourself is but that, what it is that probably also makes you very good at the customer service aspect of it though just being able to if you care like that yeah. then yeah absolutely yeah. wow that's impressive i don't know how i would do uh, you do <laughs> we should do that thing where you go take somebody's job for, for a day, day. <laughs> Come on over. Uh, yeah. Come on. Come on through. You might have uh, to give me one of those gummies if I'm going to have to work this out. But I think I think in this this um, retail would probably be a much more pleasant experience than like a clothing shop or something like that, though. Well, people are in there for not just recreation, right? I mean, I would be it's in wild. there for, for I'd be in there for more like a medicinal purpose. We get we get all of the above. Yeah, I bet we're we're right down the street from the VA. Yeah. And and mm. arguably the best VA in the country. Oh, wow. Uh, so we get a lot of veterans that come through looking for sleep relief, uh, pain relief, yeah. all oh, that. That's yeah. great to know. we get people that just love it. Yeah, yeah of course. So, and, you, uh, so you started the... I don't want to get off track too much because you yeah. started the hookah shop and... Um, so it was, it's a, it was a smoke shop. Yeah. It's just called the hookah hookup. We just, did have some, but okay. it was pipes and yeah. Yeah. cigarettes and all the things, right? Right. Yep. Which I just quit cigarettes. Oh, boy. Yeah. Surrounded <laughs> by it. around it. Oh, <laughs> uh, 10 years now. Oh, no good six. for you. Awesome. Nice. Very nice. Uh, so yeah, he hires me. I'm getting paid not great to run this shop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was so fun though. I was downtown. We're next to the bars. All the people coming through. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I met all the cool people of downtown Asheville. That oh, nice. Kind of run the day-to-day the, yeah. the -day things, you yeah. know? Mm. Still friends with a lot of these people. Oh, I love that. Um, that's the true good business when you're actually becoming friends with them. I got wrapped into this community immediately. Yeah. They, they, people from Florida have a bad rap here. Yeah. People from Florida have a bad rap everywhere. <laughs> but come on, being from Florida, both of us, oh, we, know, I get we, know, it. we know some friends. We know who Florida man is. Oh, hundred yeah. <laughs> percent. That's why we leave for a lot yeah. of times. I know. Exactly. Because we don't, you know, I, I I was looking for community my whole life, and in a in a county of three, two and a half to three million people, it's yeah. it's it's hard to find that community. Yeah, I agree. We've we've had a similar experience. I mean, we we were able to establish community, but way later in life, you know. Yeah. yeah. So, but anyway, so you worked at this place, you got to know everybody, you're, you're, yeah. you're meeting all the people so, that are running. It sounds like the networking is off the chain. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> uh, I was going to all the shows downtown um, for free oh, eventually, nice. which was how it was on Miami Beach too. So it was nice to get right back into <laughs> You're like, yeah. I got to get free like, shows. This is yeah. my life. I need to know yeah. how I get back into So here's the thing. I don't pay for stuff. So if we can get that worked yeah. out. What can I do for you? <laughs> but I mean, that's that's the nature of business too, is bartering and stuff. You oh, know? absolutely. I really yeah. wish absolutely. we could go back to a bartering system. I think that'd be amazing. Everybody would have a skill. Like, you know, they have their own unique thing that they do to. It would yeah. eventually, I think it would, I've thought a lot about this. It would, I think it would eventually lead up to us using some sort of money again. Yeah, probably. It would just be our own because yeah, I can, I can give, I can give cannabis, but if you don't use cannabis, well, 
Uh, there has to be a gap. Do? There has like, to yeah. be some sort of, all right, well, he likes cannabis and he does woodworking, but you don't need work working, but that guy needs woodworking and he has gotcha. a radio program or whatever. You know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Uh, so I think we would just get back to money, but I do, <laughs> I, I <guess>. like, <laughs> I spend a lot of time on the road uh, yeah. thinking about all sorts of these I things. like the deep thought stuff though. I mean, I do. Um, so, so, but I'm curious. So, how did you end up going from the the hookah place to having the place that you have now? Was it a quick transition, or was it like no. a long time? There's a there's a. It's it's a. Have you read the book on the road? I have not. No. Jack Kerouac. Mm-hmm. I haven't. Uh, I read it in my early 20s, and that was the book for me. It was a, a back in the 40s. He's a beatnik, and he just. Hopped on a flatbed truck and went across the road and yeah. told stories of all this. And it was it was uh, you know Allen Ginsberg and all these characters like, that led into the hippie movement. Yeah, like, yeah, that was that the, was the whole thing there. Uh, the free and easy life. So when I asked for a raise from ten dollars an hour to twelve dollars an hour, uh, I got fired. And uh, for asking for oh okay Ooh. yeah yeah okay. we quadrupled in one year we quadrupled the um uh the the sales right. And uh, so I thought it was. Which shows you the staff is doing. It was okay uh, to ask yeah. for a raise. <laughs> yeah. Um, but my my direct boss Connor, the guy who hired me, he moved on to a different company. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then I got fired. I I, I started in the hemp world, mm. which back then was, sorry, it, making uh, that stuff was me out hitting of, the microphone. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was, it was in the way. <laughs> but who put this here? Exactly. <laughs> but what what was hemp back? Because when I think back of it, then, I think of like the necklaces and the rope and all. Not and that's like, all people knew. Yeah. When Sandals. I when I started with this, yeah, yeah rope. Yeah. yeah. Rope was one hundred percent of what people knew about hemp. Yeah. And here I am trying to sell hemp oil mm. as a yeah. exactly what it is today. It's a great yeah. product. It's anti-inflammatory. All the things. Yeah. Uh, but I was getting shops telling me like, no, that's like spice and K two and all the the do you remember that stuff? Yes. Oh yeah. yeah, when they were just spraying weird yeah. crap on mm-hmm. on uh, uh, oh boy, here's another brain fart. Uh, well, uh, welcome to our world. Well, Chop this part out. <laughs> no, I, because I want to talk a little bit about that. I mean, I want to jump ahead a little bit. Yeah. And, but um, K two and all, isn't that like the fake weed, or is that something else? What's the fragrance stuff you put in your bathroom or uh, uh, po- yeah. potpourri? potpourri? Yes, potpourri. Yeah. Potpourri. Yeah. <laughs> potpourri. I had that idea first. That's a real product, and Don't as you a hate kid, that? I would call it potpourri, <laughs> and then someone took it. Somebody uh, took that, and it's they a great sell, idea. And they sell it for ten bucks a bottle, buddy. Oh, yeah. And there's a movie about. Uh, uh, it's called Envy with Jack Black, and it's basically about that. It's like poop be gone. You spray it on on dog poop and, oh it, and it's gosh. gone. Oh my gosh! And no one wanted that. to invest because they thought he was crazy. And then he became a millionaire. Oh wow! <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> well, I, I asked. They were about... spraying this analog, uh, just uh, weird stuff on him that kind of mimicked, kind of mimicked mm-hmm. cannabis okay. on potpourri. Interesting. Uh, and okay. all the bags said not for human consumption, but people were smoking it yeah. and getting oh. high from it. But it was also hurting a lot of people. Oh, of course. Yeah. So they would make it illegal, and then they would, uh, whoever was making it would immediately change the molecule. Mm-hmm. So it, it was not the illegal one. And this happened over and over and over yeah. and over that's, again. That's all you have to do just is just tweak it. Just getting around the system. It. Yeah. yeah it's just, okay. mm-hmm. it's crazy scientist people. Yeah, making um, different things. This because this reminded me of, uh, and I'm jump. We're going to jump around a little bit yeah, here, but I, but I, this reminded me of Delta Nine because Delta Nine was a fake weed that we know we all know people that either got sick, Delta or hurt. Eight. Oh, Delta Eight. Yes. Well, I, because I looked this up before you came over, I believe there was also one called Delta Nine, which was confusing people because that's not what Delta Nine really is. Delta Nine is is what is in cannabis. Right. It's what's been in cannabis for thousands of years. Right. Mm. But if so you it's have Delta if, nine THC. Right. But if you have a fake product you name Delta Nine, you really confuse everybody then. And I, I, I don't know if this happened, but when I was reading, I was like, that's there was Delta eight, there was Delta Nine. There's and Delta the, Ten. The industry was especially irritated with Delta Nine, from what I read, because that's that's insinuating that it's actually THC, which it wasn't. So uh because Delta Nine is THC, right? Yes, that's that's the way I understood it yeah. too. So, uh, so with all these 
it, they're basically analog cannabinoids. They're just mm-hmm. tweaked on the on the uh, microscopic level. Yeah, uh, delta eight. It's found naturally in hemp, but at such a small level yeah. that you're not gonna, it gonna uh, do, extract yeah. it for hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of customers. So right. they they synthesize it. Delta eleven is is basically kind of uh, uh, what happens in your body when it breaks down, but it's not found in the plant. Delta mm. ten is completely synthesized. THCP, THCO, there's so much crap out there that- It's terrifying. People are getting confused, and then I get- Well, like Delta-9, like, there's that, that fake Delta-9 confuses you for real Delta-9, right? I don't, I've never run into fake Delta-9. Okay. Um, I don't know, I, I just, also, I just uh, when I was reading right before we got here, I just read that there, it said not to be confused with the actual Delta-9 that's in THC- there was a, a so maybe they're talking about hemp derived delta nine could be I don't uh, know. as opposed to what I, I hate using the word marijuana it's literally just Spanish for Mary Jane and they use it to uh, back in the day they used it to incriminate and demonize uh, mm. uh, Hispanics oh uh, I didn't know that oh. and being from Miami I have a special place in my heart for Hispanic people yeah yeah I uh, always <laughs> thought of marijuana fondly but I, I that's why that's why he's yeah. cannabis. Yeah, yeah. Instead of marijuana. Well, the whole industry kind of calls it that now, yeah. cannabis. Yeah. It's the real name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marijuana is a government name for it. Oh, I didn't yeah. know yeah. that. Well, oh. I, liked, I like that you brought that out, though. That they, It's a word that they used and chose to demonize it's someone. A, yeah. a certain group does this bad thing. You know what I mean? A hundred percent. Well, propaganda is a powerful po- thing. Oh, it totally is. It, yep. Word mm-hmm. playing power. I've uh, read a lot about that stuff, too. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> In my yeah. travels. Mm-hmm. I bet. <laughs> so, uh, so how did you make it? So you went, you did your travels. I'm just curious. How did so you make it to your own place? I get out of, I get out of uh, the hemp industry and start working for this glass company, uh, wholesale distribution glass. I start going on the road, selling mm. glass to shops, much like mine. Uh, American made. We represented artists, uh, and Love I just that. traveled yeah. the country for like seven years. Oh, that's awesome! Very selling cool. glass selling art, selling glass pipes, pipes. Oh, glass pipes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Some uh, you know from from a one dollar or sorry, that's wholesale prices. <laughs> I shouldn't talk about that. Uh, <laughs> from about you know like price. like a five dollar little uh, one hitter to a five thousand dollar beautiful art piece and everything in between. Oh, wow. Okay. Very uh, nice. So I did that for that company for four years. COVID hit. Oh, fun. Um. I'm not mentioning that company's name or the owner's name for sure obvious yeah, reasons. Of course, yeah. Um, I got laid off because money mismanagement, uh, <laughs> things yeah. that happen. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's I, a common story. At that I was time. looking for a way out anyway. Yeah, I, okay. I knew I had reached my 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 peak at this place, right? Uh, which I was not ready for. I'm still going, you yeah. know, hey, still yeah. rising. Uh so I'm curious. So, I want to interrupt you because yeah. when you traveled, were you tra- you were traveling with all these glass pieces with you? Yeah, I had a. Uh, so what did that look like in your van? I had a Honda were? Element that oh I took gosh. the back seats out of. Okay. Uh, lots of bins that were filled with gallon bags filled with t- different pipes. Okay. Tens of thousands yeah. of different pipes. Right. Wow. Um, I guess not ten thousand unique, but like tens of thousands total, and and hundreds of unique pieces oh what are oh. you asking though angie like was it full of styrofoam or yeah. it, don't hit like, any potholes because, so yeah like you american get an glass accident or freaking you know <laughs> yeah. take a turn wrong and like, you better have that shit packed you get up into michigan <laughs> and illinois and wisconsin oh, the and the roads are not great uh-uh. yeah <laughs> uh did you ever lose product from like a rough trip not from a rough trip but from me leaving the God, I hope he's not listening. <laughs> <laughs> we also had uh, gun cases filled with like the foam on the inside. Yes, okay. filled with uh, water pipes and and different okay. you know, okay. bubblers yep. and bongs yep. and uh, all sorts of things like that. Right, and it was top to bottom, front to back. Yeah, wow. There's zero more. There's zero room in there. Yeah. Um, it was probably around 120 grand worth every oh. time I went out. Wow. So you had to lock that uh, car up when you were going in places. Two weeks on, two weeks off. So I'd be on the road for two weeks straight by myself and then home for two weeks, able to do whatever I wanted. Oh, nice. Uh, So yeah, lots of miles, 65,000 miles. All over the country? Uh, I didn't go past Colorado. Okay. 
the West Coast is pretty saturated. Yeah. Yeah. So we just pretty much stayed. I I was cool. mainly Midwest. Gotcha. Which I fell in love with the Midwest yeah, as yeah. a Miami boy. <laughs> you would funny? never think like. Yeah, I'm in Des Moines, Iowa, having a great time. It's beautiful but, there. To know, me, it's uh, always been, I love Des Moines, yeah, man. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the scenery out there is just like... It's beautiful. It, it, I, I it's love like, that. what is this place I'm at, you yeah. know? Oh, it's a different world, yeah. right? I mean, I've never been there. I've just seen pictures. But I, even looking at the pictures, I'm like, why are you going what, there Here's the vacation? narrative. Kansas and Nebraska are so boring to drive through. But if you've driven on I-95 through Florida... Uh-huh. Yeah. From from south to north, you know it's just a wall of trees. <laughs> we talk well, about is. this all where I do that. And there's joke. nothing to see. I do yeah. that joke from Brother Bear, that kids movie where it's like, I spy tree. Your yeah. turn. I tree. <laughs> your turn. Because that's what it is. That's for all miles, it is. for hours. Mm-hmm. It's from nothing. From Homestead to Jacksonville. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm out in, in Kansas and Nebraska and all these places, and there's just rolling hills mm-hmm. of farms and the old brown, I mean, the old uh, red barns yeah. and the oh. silos. It's, and, I talk about, I love that. I, I want to pull over and take a picture or paint it every time I see that. It's that, beautiful. Yeah. It I don't know what all these people are talking about. The Probably one of the coolest things I saw out there, it was a fresh snow. So obviously no corn, just all fields. Yeah. Uh, fresh layer and there was a family of deer oh, just so cool. out far enough away from the road yeah. uh, nice just big out deer too running with the family <laughs> in the snow and I'm just trying, like this is that's the cool this is awesome that's I was 31 the first time I saw snow yeah oh, 10 wow. years ago uh, that's yeah. relatable I, yeah. we had a uh, <laughs> yeah. we had a, a what you guys would refer to as a dusting it was maybe six or eight inches of snow but it was I don't even know if it was that much but we had been here for I don't know was it January when this hit and it Came and went. I'll show you pictures, but for was it this year? Yes, yeah. that wasn't a snow. I, I, no, no, no. It was a dusting. Yeah, but yeah. It, but what's but it funny was is like to him. I drove oh, yeah. to Ingalls <laughs> here, and they're like, "It snowed where you are," so it only snowed in a tiny little spot here. Absolutely, which yeah. was really neat. But it was for twenty four hours later, it was gone. It's uh-huh. so funny. We could talk for two hours just on like cultural yeah, differences yeah. And, and, and things I like know. that. Well, the reason I bring that up though is your excitement with the deer in the snow. I'm like out there in it, making snowballs with yeah. the dogs. Okay. <laughs> Angie's like, I'm good. I I grew up in Michigan, so <laughs> oh, nice. I know what. What part? Uh, Wicks and Wald Lake area. It's like north uh, west of Detroit. Okay, oh, 20 cool. minutes yeah. from Detroit, actually. Oh, like, that's Detroit. To, yeah, it's <laughs> pretty much Detroit. They're like, you know, the nice neighborhoods. Yeah, so. yeah. Yeah. Well, really not nice. I mean, just suburbs or whatever they were. But Pontiac uh, area or maybe a little west of Pontiac? I don't know where we were in conjunction of that because I moved down to Florida when I was 12. Oh, cool. So, you know, technically my whole grown up life was. God, in Florida. you went from. Uh, but I went like from. Six months of winter to. So, Eight, ten yeah. months of summer. <laughs> yeah, Michigan is no. That's I moved up there again in like I was like twenty two. I'm like I'm going back to Michigan. It's so much better. <laughs> I lasted two months. Yeah, I moved up in the most miserable fucking time of the year where everything's January, gray. Yeah, like you fly over and everything's gray and it just looks like <laughs> a mud hole. Like it's just disgusting. And then I, you walk outside. It's like oh my god. <laughs> it's free. Well, so frigid. You got the Great Lakes there. You got like. I mean, uh, in the Summer, You're dude. on the east side, so you in got Lake summer, Huron. Beautiful, like I mean, the I lakes. Love it. The lakes were the the ocean to us. Yeah, like, yeah. as a kid, it they're was, massive too. Oh, they're massive and they're like beautiful. A, yeah. and, and if you go to the Upper Peninsula, it's beautiful. And there's the sand dunes, and it's yeah. kind of this totally different place than just the flatland Michigan. But and then you got you know, I, I feel like Western Michigan is is pretty different than Eastern Michigan as well. Probably, I don't know. No, <laughs> because I haven't been well, there. As I've an been adult, all over. That you know what I mean? Yeah. So. But I, I guess that, I love that you've been all over and you end up here because I haven't been all over. And there's something about the first time Angie said, oh, for vacation, let's go to Asheville. I'm like, I don't go to Nashville. It's a country cap. <laughs> That's like, what everyone hears. <laughs> she's like, no, 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 Asheville. And then so I'm thinking, what is that? And and long story short, you know, we live here now. But I was like, <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, my God, I fell in love with the mountains. And yeah. Just, uh, it, the whole the vibe. culture, it, it's like just, just everything. There was it was such a good mix of all different types of people. It's nice. You know? It's a great. Oh. Qu- you have quality of life here. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it's it's. Yeah, and some of the things I'm learning about this community, especially the small business, you know, supporting community. You know, they're worried about people's, um, uh, their wages that they're making. Yeah. In the area, you know, which is earn- unheard of. Yeah. You know, earning a living wage. Yeah. Living wage, right? Yeah, living wage. Okay, I know this. Yeah. Um, and just the. 
that sense of community within the small business. Taking so care it, of each other, yeah. So it seems like you're right. This is probably the perfect spot that you landed to start. So I had never, I didn't really even travel before I moved before. here. Yeah, I'd and, been. I'd been to Nashville once for like oh, a you're minute. Saying, but when you were traveling around delivering glasses. That was so. after my job, my first job the, here in Nashville. Oh, that was after you? Job. Okay, yeah. I thought I was picturing that you picked it up and left. But you're no. saying two weeks here, two weeks doing that. Okay. All yeah, right. yeah. Okay. So that was after the the smoke shop in downtown. Okay, yeah. Uh, which was the same company that the guy who hired me at the smoke shop, Connor, yeah, he was at this company, so now I'm working with him. So, but you've been here ever since then. When you, ever since you moved here and started at the Nine years. shop, you've been here ever since. Okay, yeah. very cool. So you went and sort of got a taste of all those other areas and still wanted to stay here. You know, there's there's places that I love. Madison, Wisconsin, is is awesome. Oh yeah, um, I love Mich. Like I really, really love Detroit. Yeah. Ann Arbor is probably more where I would live. I have family in, in <laughs> Ann Arbor. Yeah. Because it's a little more Asheville y. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, college town. I went to Hash Bash up there. Oh, wow. Or as you guys say, Hash Bash. Uh, <laughs> from. Hash <laughs> 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 Not you guys, her. I'm from Apopka. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know he still catches like sometimes I say certain words and like, he's like, like you are totally a northern like, yeah she says garage with one syllable garage 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 <laughs> garage or, or uncle she says uncle like say it uncle 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 I, I, I find myself because I spent so much time in the Midwest you've got doing part this, of this yeah. I, I hear myself with it sometimes isn't that funny yeah. so funny it, it doesn't take long to pick it up though like if you're around you know a group of people it's who so are talking easy like that it's so easy to just kind of become part of that group it's like Madonna with her you know British accent well <laughs> you know I think it's I, I think it's that way with any accent because if I get around like my old friends from high school I start talking a bit more like this boy you know it's like everyone's everyone's country all of a sudden well you're in North Carolina now so oh, I, I guess feel it fits, free. it fits yeah. again I have noticed a lot of that by the yeah. way it, it, well, oh yeah there you know. is some very um, country sounding yeah well, and it's um, and it's different it is different. It is. It's yeah. a different accent than, than we had growing yeah. up down there. Yeah, and my funny. family on my mom's side is from Kentucky, which is another mm-hmm. different where they say yeah. like uh, they Louisville. Don't, Louisville or they say <laughs> like the days of the week are all end in E. Like yeah, Monday. Monday, Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> like, what? it's different what everywhere. Was that? What yeah. was that? So That's after so you um, got done kind of traveling around and you were done with that. So that was how did we... four full years. That's a lot Trade of show, like man. just God, How many miles golf. do you know? He said 65,000 the first year. That was my year. first year. Total, probably. I've got a couple hundred thousand under my belt just yeah. selling glass. Yeah. Wow. wow. Um that's, and a I st- of, that's a lot of miles. I've travel. driven to 41 states. Oh, wow. wow. And the whole West Coast is not part of that. I have yet to go to California. And you think being in this industry, that's, California would be obviously checked off. But, but no, no, yeah. But that's yeah. what you said, though, is oversaturated already. Right? I had no business so, there. Yeah. yeah. And so. all the trade, there's no trade shows there. Yeah. The oh, trade shows okay. are in like Las Vegas, oh, which I've okay. driven to a few times. Yeah. Uh, I go every year for my business, my type of business for uh, tech trade shows. Or yeah. Th- not tech trade That's shows. That's where they all like are, a, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, they, you know. In Denver, of course, there, we have yeah. a, a couple trade shows. Madison, Wisconsin, we had a trade show, which is why I fell in love with that place, because it's just, yeah. go there. Yeah, yeah. Go vacation Madison, there sometime. Wisconsin. Yeah. Okay. It's, uh, I'm not driving. No, no way. We're flying. Oh, it's an easy drive. <laughs> You're talking about your miles. I'm sitting here to think, and I probably drive 1,500 miles a year now. So. <laughs> I don't like driving 10, 10 hours to Florida. Like, you know what helps? Airplanes. Podcasts. Oh, oh podcasts, yeah. of course. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Tune in, guys. So I said airplanes. <laughs> you know what helps? Airplanes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pod, I, do, I agree, though. The podcast, Sleeping while someone else is right? driving. It has come back. The podcast industry has come back, but it took a major dip with COVID because most people listen on their commute to work, and now yeah. no one's commuting. No one's sitting in their house listening to They are now, but that's what the whole sort of podcast culture change. And do you guys, uh, I hate to break the third wall, but do you guys post on YouTube? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. We do yeah. the cameras. Yeah. We're, we're back on YouTube now. We we went through, when we went through all those moves we were telling you about, which we've told our audience about a hundred times, but forget, we... <laughs> I also forget we have this camera. Hi, yeah. people over yeah. here. So but, I've been turned this way the whole time. So no, it's fine. Back, we're getting guys. back in the groove. We were doing it for so long on YouTube that after we took the cameras down and we're converting the studio into a bedroom, we were still recording in there. 
and both of us would look up at look nothing up. because there's no camera. <laughs> there's no but camera. we're getting back into it now. And yeah. what I like to do is I like to intercut the interviews, especially if it's just her and I, which is normally a week of a guest, a week of her. But I'll cut clips from where we went instead to make it a little more interesting for people that want to watch. YouTube yeah. Shorts, TikTok, that, that Instagram were, Reels. We had we shut down our TikTok. I, I could talk to you about the Chinese government all day, but we we had four point <laughs> oh, five. No. We don't talk four point no, five million talk politics. Though, that's so why I said that's, that's why I didn't say it. Oh, okay, I, we had four point <laughs> five million million views on one of our TikToks, which was unheard of. Was it one of the first ones no and it wasn't really even a, it wasn't even an interview it was we had cameras in the house for the dog it was funny. which leads to a really lot of uh, uh, a lot of really funny clips of like banging your head or busting a glass <laughs> or things that you don't falling down things you don't People realize do not life. care about the work you're putting in here yes. they want to see the dog bumping its yes. head yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. god but, I, I i post on tiktok for my business oh nice and i and i i I was I did acting classes back in high school and all of that, oh. so I, I enjoy it, right? Sure. Um, and mainly, I give out government secrets. Oh, oh I, I shouldn't that. say that on here, should I? <laughs> I, mean, I don't anyway, know. it's TikTok. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, somebody comes knocking on your door tonight, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's Kim, no, no, that's uh, Korea. Never mind. Well, I, uh, <laughs> you say, I'm assuming you mean like in that's your shtick that you're telling government secrets or whatever. No, I don't do that at all. I'm I'm just oh, messing just around. I thought it was a goofy, like, guess what else they do? Yeah, but, but no, the one... it's all uh, smoke shop related oh, nice. stuff or basketball. I love basketball. Oh, nice. It's well, the, smoke shop or basketball. The one we did that was 4.5 million views was from our living room security camera. And I am more like the totally type A personality. And Angie is like the chill one, which plays here because she's on the couch with her laptop or something. And you see her sit up and she's looking out the back window. <laughs> she's like, oh my God, Dan. Dan, it's a tornado. It's a, and I come flying out of the back office <laughs> and I had socks on. I have to show you this clip, but I had socks on a hardwood floor. So I'm trying not to slip, <laughs> but I end up walking in little baby ballerina steps real fast. <laughs> and that's what got everyone. Cause I just beelined it with her to the back bedroom. He didn't even look at anything. And that's it. He just and that, that bizarre run became a, a 4.5 million yeah. hits that got more <laughs> traffic to our podcast in one day than all the work I we know. put in. So I would funny. say to everyone listening, please like the the videos that people actually put time and effort into. Yeah. But yeah. I feel like your audience does that anyway. Uh, we, but yeah. we're guilty of it though, because we we'll, <laughs> what do we watch at night when we're falling asleep? People falling off stuff and wrecking bikes and all this kind Little of little children being hurt is the that's funniest. so. I do the same. I'll like, lay in bed, like, scroll yeah. from just watch funny videos yeah. to go to it, sleep. It's soon. like just a release for it the is. end of the day. Whatever you had going, just this. I need to watch something that's just going to make me crack up. Till it's good energy. Yeah. I can't breathe anymore. Yeah. Right? Like, cause some of them, that is literally what you do. Yeah. <laughs> so as you know, you're a smoker. Yeah. So were you like into kind of, um, keeping abreast to the trends or the things that were happening in the government as far as yeah, seeing be, this happen? Sure. Oh, yeah. 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 So is that kind of what led to you getting into this business once you saw that there could be an opportunity to make this into kind of like your career. So when I went us. from that, from the smoke shop, the $10 an hour smoke shop mm -hmm. to driving on the road, I went from like 20 K to 60 That's a, a year. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which was obviously life changing. Sure. Yeah. Um, I felt like an adult finally. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, and that's a lifetime of trying yeah. all sorts of other things. My sure. own skateboard company, trying all of that and, right. and trial and errors and all mm -hmm. of that. So, um, so once I once I left that company, I told Connor, mm -hmm. uh, who was the vice president of that company, I said, "Dude, I'm going to go work for this other guy, or, I'm, or we're going to do it ourselves. Or you come start a company with me." And he said, "Let me think about it." And the next day, he was like. I told him to go screw himself. Let's do this. It got like a, pumped up. This sounds like a movie, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, so, it really does. Which is why I didn't really want to skip of course. too much of yeah. the things because uh, now we've been business partners for four years yeah. now. Oh, I love it. Uh, and and just from that chance meeting of him hiring me of at, at the smoke that shop. That is you know? awesome. Well, obviously, you know, he saw that you had something, you know, a drive in you, how you showed up. While he comes from D.C., Baltimore area. Yeah. And I come from Miami. So we have this, like, the, the city drive. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Which, in a, in a smaller place like this, 
really helps. Oh yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys know guys notice uh it's a little slower paced around here. That she has to keep going, Dan. Take a breath. Yeah. It's a slower pace. It's a, yeah. The, yeah. I, I had to teach myself. Yeah. I'm I would going, get calls I'm going at the smoke it. shop, like, and they and and hey, this smoke shop, can I help you? Ah, I got a question for you. <laughs> and I'm like, we can be done with this by now, bud. <laughs> it sounds like me. You know, <laughs> info in, info out. Let's go. But I had to yeah. breathe. Yeah, it, it's- <laughs> And, you it's know, probably better for you, actually, just to slow down because I'm yeah. very high paced, fast paced. Question answer done. Next question, kind of. I've guy. noticed that just with doing a, you know a little bit of the networking I've been doing and you know communicating with people. There's not as much of a sense of urgency like we're probably used to in like the corporate world. Yeah. But that's okay because why the stress? Why? That's, why? That's why part the of the charm, isn't it? it? It's no. part of the charm. It's part of the well, when it's, it's just, in your blood. I, you're, I, you're, I'm looking at Dan Dude, here. Look at him. <laughs> like if we're like if we're going to follow up on that in the next hour, I've emailed you. I've sent you a link, and I'm waiting. <laughs> it was so nice dealing with you guys uh, uh, through the emailing process. Oh, scheduling the visit. yeah. What a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> My Most favorite. of the of the uh, distros that I deal with to yeah. get product are are on that same page. Yeah, but yeah. of course you can't run a business. We're still in in the head shop, smoke shop, cannabis yeah. industry, yeah. so sure. we all partake. Sure, and mm-hmm. that can lead to definitely like three days later, like oh, oh yeah, I forgot about this email. Yeah, I'm glad you met. <laughs> but see, that's where you have to get to where you know the culture. Be- and by the way, we're in the studio, the heater's on. And of course, before we started, I'm like, oh, are you going to hear that? I think that's just part of the ambiance of our new studio. So it's, it's our there's studio. Freddy Krueger heater in the background. Oh. And the boiler. <laughs> um, oh okay, this has been one of the things I'm worried about. Like, I've, So I've been telling people, like, because we have some more um, people coming on. We had so many bookings just from you know that posting we did on a few of the small oh, business yeah. pages. So we have some new people coming on. And, you know, some of them are women. And I'm like, if you would like to bring somebody along with you, yeah, so you feel safer. Nobody knows us. You know? Yeah, for sure. But I'm like, even taking you, we're like, come down to the basement. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. We should get like a rickety light bulb hanging from a chain at first instead of all these lights Scare on. Scare everybody. Yeah. God, that'd oh be my... so funny. God. I'm here for it. Just, you know, break the break the tension. Right there. <laughs> yeah. We got cameras up. It's a freaking yeah, basement. Yeah. Ooh, what is what happening? What are you doing? Well, I thought that when the when the lawn guys came before we had the studio set up and I was testing locations for cameras, Angie oh. said, "What do you think they think you're doing? You got tripods in here and cameras pointing all over. You got carpet. I mean, here's the thing: you're in Asheville. <laughs> yeah, no one cares. No one cares. And, all, and we support it. Yeah, yeah. And a lot of us, it's your creative." Go yeah. that route. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like there's we just had you. the Asheville Fringe Fest, which oh, yeah. is literally all about that. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Um I'm adding myself into there. I've never done that. I've never been to the Fringe Fest. <laughs> I say we as in Asheville. I know, just I get part it. of Asheville. We're, we're all we're all Ashevillians now or whatever yeah. they're called. But yeah, but I know what you're saying about the question and answer thing and sort of the fast pace because I do think there's probably more life you're going to live if you slow down and relax a little about it. <laughs> I disagree. Oh, do you? I like to get I, it all done as fast as possible so I can chill and live, uh, and live life. I don't mind that. I don't mind that. And, well, and, I'm, I'm trying to defend someone else's view, by the way, because I'm much more like you, <laughs> yes. where I'm like, list, done, just he's get it. Trying, list. I, I, my favorite my, word uh, is view. optimization. That's my favorite word in the whole world yeah. is optimization. Now, look, Absolutely. Look, Efficiency. Yeah. I appreciate it at times. You know what I mean? And then other times, no, no, I don't want it. Yeah. And no. that's why you guys probably work well together. Which, yeah. Oh, yeah. she brings me back down. She calls me yeah. Sheldon, but she brings me back down to earth because I'm I'm all about. And you bring me like you let me know when I need to be more organized about something, like you know a certain thing that just happened that, you know. I don't necessarily believe I mean, in this, yeah. but we're in Asheville, so I have to ask: What's your sign? Uh, Libra. I'm okay, a, I'm a Libra. I'm I think. I yeah. don't know anything about y'all. <laughs> no. I don't, I'm I don't a believe Virgo, in that and apparently Virgo characteristics are very like to the point. Uh, everything mm. in its right place, kind of OCD about things. Yeah, but uh, as soon as you start believing those horoscope things, you meet somebody that's like the same sign as you that is nothing like you at all. So you're yeah. like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I I, I don't really. It's it's well, the it's the Asheville question. Yeah, yeah. But, My favorite but people is, that study horoscope will tell you. But that depends on what day you were born and what and your the moon, moon sign. Was like. yeah, I, yeah. So there's all uh, this. I just shit read that some stuff about it. Virgo, and I was like, ooh, that's yeah. pretty dead. <laughs> 
So here's a here's a deep cut, listener. If you're into horoscopes, you need to go read Adam Sandler's horoscopes. That's a good one. He did that young in his career, but they're spectacular. So oh. I'll just leave you with that. I grew up on yeah. his on his uh let's see, I was in tenth grade, so it was a CD. Yeah. Uh they're all gonna laugh at you. Oh, Adam nice. Sandler. Yeah, yeah. And that was the greatest thing we oh, had he's ever still, heard he's up until that still, moment. His latest one he did like two years ago. Oh, so good. With the guitar. I, I will sing the songs to her like phone, wallet, keys, that kind of <laughs> that stuff. That one is hilarious. I had a, <laughs> a, 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 a mat outside of my, uh, or just inside of my front door that said phone, wallet, keys. Oh, I love it. That is so funny. as you're leaving, you look you down, there it is. That yeah. is great. Oh, my, that one was my it favorite, and, yeah. it, and I guess because of my age and my life, you know, but one of them was the guitars. It's like a heavy rock, and he's like, my kids only got one line in the play. My kids only got... And at the end of the song, he's like, and he missed it. And that was the end of the song. But That's it's like, so funny. It's, it's relatable because of our ages now. Yeah. Because it's like... Oh, uh, my gosh. He's kind of... I don't know if he's my age, but his comedy has grown in line with my life, so I can relate to all It makes of sense, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. That yeah, all those old movies I can quote still to this day. Those, the, the, that album, the, they're all gonna laugh at you. I can quote the whole thing. After that, like, there was a certain age that, that I hit that I just don't retain anything anymore. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can snippets. listen to a song a million times, and I'm like, oh, I know the first like three words. <laughs> you bet not yeah. Well, that's like you the other day. You were quoting Grown Ups when you go. I said something about swimming, and you go, "I'm not taking my shirt off." Yeah. Kevin, Kevin James. <laughs> Kevin says James. That yeah. line. It's great. That's it's so great. funny. So I was online, just kind of taking a peek at your shop, mm-hmm. and I was very impressed because I like very clean and organized looks. See, I'm rubbing off on her. And <laughs> look, I was never a messy person. Is it that but, kind of podcast? Yeah, but, but <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, sometimes yeah. depends on who's on the show. <laughs> Without the video, yeah. <laughs> those we can't open. That's a different website we upload. Different. <laughs> it's a special website. There's a subscription. For yeah. That, yeah. By the way, that's so funny. Quick sidetrack. Uh, Kate Finder. I was in a band in Miami, and we would play a place called Tobacco Road, which mm-hmm. was the oldest bar in Miami. Classic. It was like the spot. Spot to be right. And we would always tell people, "Hey, you can find us on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Pornhub, Twitter." We, and we would just throw it in there just to see who's paying attention, you know. <laughs> Yeah. That reminds Eyes me of perking up. What? Huh? What they say though? I love it. <laughs> and then they're searching it, and then they're searching it for it. But anyway, uh, yeah, sorry. I yes, ki- go I ahead. Kind of peeking at the the shop via on um, the website. Yeah. And it's just very clean. Thank you. Pristine looking. Thank you. It. You know, it's. I've been in smoke shops before, like back in the day. Mm-hmm. And it's always dark and kind of like. Musty, yeah, you know what I mean, and you're it, like, and that's how the industry yeah, was back yeah. then. Because, you well, be... you were riding the line on being illegal. I remember going to, yeah. I remember going to Daytona Beach, going to a couple of, I don't want to name it in case they're still in business, but it was clearly like, you know, if you mentioned weed in there, you had to leave because it was like the rule was these are tobacco pipes, like right. everyone yeah. needs a four chamber water tobacco pipe, and yeah. that's still kind of how it is. Is it? Mm. You know, uh, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about that, like how, without getting into what are the rules. Rules, Without you know? uh, uh, throwing myself under the bus, sure. mm-hmm. we're very relaxed in our shop. Mm-hmm. Um, I I'm against tobacco, so none of my pipes are for tobacco. Sure, they're for legal uh, cannabis products mm-hmm. Le- uh, yeah. that you can also buy at my shop. Yes, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> so we're we're pretty relaxed. I'm not trying to tell an adult what he can and or what they can and cannot say. Sure. Uh, and that's mainly that's always the the complaint, isn't it? You go into a smoke shop, mm-hmm. you have someone who's twenty years younger than you telling you you can't say something, and you're just like, just just you know what I mean? Just give me what I need. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and you know they'll have an attitude, and I, even back in the day, uh, at at the first job here, we we had to kick people out because that's what we were told to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So but just having said, to play that game is very unfortunate, you know. Just because of the laws and the rules, and uh, I, I, I don't know of any shop, and, and I've been to I say probably around seventy five percent of the shops east of Colorado. Yeah. Wow, it's a lot. That's it's a hundreds lot. and hundreds of shops. <laughs> yeah, it, not counting the tobacco plus, uh, uh you know, just those mm-hmm. the little rinky dink ones on the yeah in, in yeah strip yeah mall yeah somewhere. yeah. Well, uh, in the vape shops, I mean, you can't throw a rock without hitting a vape shop now anywhere yeah. really. Yeah, that's so true. Mm-hmm. If, I don't know if yeah. you're including them in that, but um you No, I'm just talking about the smoke shops that usually um 
<laughs> I'm trying to be PC here. That's oh, that's, okay. that's the gotcha. gears burning here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, they're just they're owned by by Middle Easterners or Indian people, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. and they do a great job. They do their thing. It's a completely different, different industry. Experience. It, yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, because yours, there's a lot of like sciencey stuff, which I think is really cool. That kind of goes. Uh, it's biology. Yeah. I mean, or uh, what's the plant one? <laughs> is, uh, is it still biology? Botanist. Botany. Botany. Yes. I got it right. Oh my gosh. I, know, I have a long time friend with a science. PhD in this. I was going to say lobotomy, so I don't want to jump. <laughs> that <in>. too. <laughs> um, but, but, but it's I, close. Yeah, and, I was. Um, Referring to like the the lab results that you have on the different strains. Yeah, that was fun learning that how to read all that crap. Is, oh, but what okay, is so I, yeah, let's talk about <laughs> that's the kind of stuff I want to talk about. Me like, too. But what is how that? did you get into? How do you have to learn that? Is there you jump, schooling? Jump head first. Is that right how in, you do? Yeah, you just jump okay. head first. There's no schooling or anything no. like that. Okay, but what so is no that? certificates or anything? Sorry, no, no, it's okay. What does that tell the customer though? I mean, I, because oh, I looked at it too, and it's sure. neat. But I'm like, what does that tell? Like, is that looking for customers like, don't read? Well, I may get, I'm going to get in trouble. You guys are going to get me in trouble. <laughs> Customers don't read. And this is any industry ever. Yeah. yeah. They, they don't want read. you to tell them as the A hundred percent. But I, yeah. can I tell you as someone, uh, maybe not true though for everyone because as it's, someone- it, There's always exceptions to the rule. Sure. Very But few. as someone who is- yeah, that's, <laughs> that's true too. Retail. This is retail talking. <laughs> but as someone who is interested, mildly interested because of my, you know, tripping out from last time, but who's mildly interested in- and I won't get too personal, but our listeners, our long time listeners, know I had like surgery, unexpected surgery. What's it been? Two, three years ago now. But I went through a lot of pain through a lot of years, and was ready to try everything. I don't like taking medicine. So, as somebody who still has like a, a wandering eye a little bit in that that industry, like I, I don't want to end up in the same experience again. But I'm on your website reading about like the test results. It to me, it looks like. Wait a minute. This place really knows, like this is a quality thing, or the, yeah. that's what I'm asking because mm-hmm. it's we it's not vet just... pretty hardcore. Yeah, I, I've sent plenty of uh, reps, like distro reps, out of my shop with no yeah. money because they they come in, they have all the synthesized stuff, they have mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know these these seven gram vape with all you know this and this and this and that in it, and I'm and I'm I'm going like I don't want that. That's not quality. Yeah, and then the packaging is like explosion and and it's a big gimmicky thing yeah. I, I don't like it yeah yeah see i'd like I'm to not... take it more serious myself because i know it's you're recreational and i'm a recreational drink i can appreciate it i'm afraid of it recreationally anymore yeah. but to, it, my first <laughs> well, we've, my had, first, we've had an experience you had an experience like <laughs> no other you went you went to the fifth dimension i had Definitely. to hold on to her for <laughs> yeah we can tell that Man. story too it's a good place to go sometimes this was <laughs> this wasn't <laughs> She was in a bad, bad place for a long, long oh, for hours no. and hours and hours. But it was, uh, yeah, it was some friends of ours. It it's humbling, be, isn't it? I I've been there. I know oh, exactly yeah. what you're talking about. I wanted heart to be, pounding out of your chest. I but wanted it to be fun. The weirdest, fun. the weirdest. <laughs> I know we're all over the place, but the weirdest thing about this experience was, and if you're our age, you remember the original Batman movie with Michael Keaton and Jack oh, yeah. Nicholson. Wow, but, you really are all over the place. But his get hit the Joker whenever he killed someone, it would show them with this big smile on their face, but their eyes had like. This terrified look, and I. Someone took a picture of you that night, but you were like that for six hours. <laughs> for, she had tears. That she had tears well. coming out of but her I eyes. Was she was so freaked out, and she was still smiling. It's that nervous smile, though. though like oh, everything's gonna be okay. Well, she could not make it stop. I or, couldn't make the it smile. Was just, it's so funny. It was. So it was. A, it's a scary f- picture. I also eight. felt how I describe it is that I was. My, I had metal boots on that were. Um, magnetically being <laughs> pulled to the ground. <laughs> you could hit me and I'd be like a bobblehead. Like we're like, Burr. so those so of us who've been in the industry for, for long enough, yeah. we've all been through this. Sure. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. But you want to protect your customers from not going there. I'm sure. A hundred percent. Yeah. I, I, I really, so we're really good at listening to the customers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have one employee right now and I've probably ad not, you know, ad nauseum told him, this is how I want my customers treated. Yeah. He's yeah. really good at it anyway. I wouldn't have brought him in if I yeah. thought otherwise. Sure. But you know? still and the I've, training. I've known him a long yeah. time. Still training that you need to get him to yeah. that quality that you We want warn be. people if they pick something strong. We warn people uh, good. if they're looking for something strong and they pick something weak. You know, we, yeah. Yeah. we just want people to get what they need. 
And uh, like I said earlier, we have a lot of veterans come in, so we have to yeah. be really careful with uh, – a lot of people don't know what they want either. Yeah. Yeah. Or they think they know what they want. They read about something. They heard about their friend told them something. Their friend yeah. with a high tolerance yeah. told them, like, you got to try these. Oh, yeah. These are great. And uh-huh. they try them. <laughs> and then they have an experience like yours. And they're like, that's not my friend anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I would imagine, too, like older people, like you're saying, like, you don't want them to trip out and never come back. I mean, they, you, no, they're, they're going to trust you. They're going to come back. I have some older folk that yeah. come in that are, they're like, give me the strongest Well, yeah, thing. now. But. So what's the kind of like, what's the process now? Like, I'm not very educated on it as far as, you know, what is the process if I walked into your store? Can I just walk into your shop as just somebody who's checking it out, looking around. Yeah. What happens if I want something? Can I get something or do I have to have a, a ID card? Like what is the what no. is the rules in this area? Because I know that, you know, the laws so, are different in all all different areas. Because, um, so the cannabis I sell mm-hmm. is basically premature. There's okay. a process called uh, decarboxylation where THCA... I read about that on your website. Converted. I've never even heard it of it. It converts yeah. to THC. Okay. Uh, so if they cut it early enough, the the plant, mm-hmm. the bud, uh, then it doesn't convert on the plant. It converts when you light it because because mm. uh, it converts it to 120 degrees. Uh, we always heard about this growing up where when you cook with it, you have to cook it at a certain temperature to activate everything. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what you're activating is THCA. Oh, okay. So it took us forever <laughs> to figure out that oh well this is under law uh, under the 2018 hemp hemp farm bill that it's considered hemp okay so it took until like a year ago for people to to realize this um which i was getting stuff from colorado while i was in colorado yeah <laughs> and i think they were like <laughs> I think they're I an industry leader in, yeah. in this kind of area. Definitely. Oh, I have, absolutely. I, I yeah. have a friend who has a farm there. Uh, uh, oh, I don't do? know if I've ever told you that. Yeah, our old singer from our band, he has a oh. he has a cannabis farm. I almost called it the board. I don't want to call it anymore now. That Yay! Yeah. But yeah. Uh, yeah. We're converting he, he people was a, one yeah. by one. He moved there right when all, everything legalized there, and he does really well. There's a YouTube channel about how to grow it and all kinds oh, of stuff. Very cool. cool. But so, awesome. so when you were... In well, Colorado, you probably put them two in. Oh, I could. well now <laughs> I for I don't know if it would be of beneficial to you, but I'd be happy to Instagram. Share. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, but so you were getting it from Colorado, but when did you guys discover? Well, so personally, I would get stuff from Colorado while I was in Colorado. Gotcha. Obviously, yeah, never leaving with it. That was a lot of THCA. Yeah. Just because mm. it's part of it. Yeah. yeah. It's naturally just part of it. All the bud anyone has ever smoked has had THCA in it. Right. Because not all of it converts on the plant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's the fun part is that's... we have THCA, THC, D9. All the same thing. It's the it's the Trinity, that's the Father, the, Son, it, Holy Ghost. Del- you know what I mean? That's a Delta 9 <laughs> that's, that we were talking about. So it's, right. a, it's okay. chemical reactions that change one to another, or they're all... The A is an acid molecule, and it just burns off. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. <laughs> Look at all this freaking so, It's kind of an inhibitor, you know. too. So if you eat THCA uh, flour, it does nothing. Yeah. It has to be decarbed. To do something if okay. you eat it, but can you get can you get any of the medicinal benefits from THCA like for it pain? Has, or, it's and, exactly the same thing. So you can. Oh. I got a whisper. So, <laughs> so you can get yeah. all the benefits without the psychoactive part, part if you want. Once you light it up, it is psychoactive. Sure, but okay. what if you eat the THCA? Uh, we have other stuff that yeah. that is better because it has to be heated in order to really. Have any type of so you wouldn't just eat the weed. Well, that's no. what I'm wondering. Right, you wouldn't that's, just eat the flower. Yeah. So I was wondering if THCA, without being converted to THC, has medicinal benefits for pain, or does it have to convert to be beneficial? That's a great question. Yeah. Um, I'm over here trying to get the benefits without tripping out. So. Yeah. <laughs> I can. I, I have products for you for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, There'd be something else that would probably suit that. Yeah. Well, better. I should probably add that that night when. My nurse wife over here, right? This is the joke because she's like, she's a tough cookie. You, you can't, you got to be tough with this woman. But I'm like, babe, I'm having a heart attack. I think I'm having a heart attack. I just, I'm listening to Friends and there was an episode came on that's never, ever been aired before. Like it was different. I was, it was, I felt like I was, 
And she goes like this, you're fine. And yeah. goes back to sleep, left me to deal with it on my own. <laughs> so that night, after all that happened, what that was from was these gummies that were really low dose that I ate a quarter of that literally her mom had had, who doesn't do any drugs or drink even, and she could sleep on them. So I ate a quarter of one and had that happen. So I, no one can explain it. It. No, I just I don't know if my tolerance is just I terrible think we've now. we've learned, isn't there two different strains? There's stevia. Sativa. And sativa. Not, uh-huh. not to be not confused stevia. with stevia. <laughs> Stevia's Put a little this different. this in your coffee. <laughs> well, I mean, you can remember it like uh, sativa is the, the upper. Yeah. Okay. So stevia being a sugar or whatever, if that's... And then into couch. Is indica into indica couch. Yeah. 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 Okay. M- most things are hybrids okay. of both of those. So okay. I think whatever it was, you needed the opposite because it was affecting you different than... But, yeah. That but that's is, a big thing. Yeah. Is it possible that someone's biology is just different when it comes to... Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So, I was going to say that has uh, to be My employee, Chris, his girlfriend throws up every time, whether she smokes it or eats it or whatever, she just throws up. Sometimes yeah. she deals with it because... Mm-hmm. You know, still enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, it's just like anything. You, you, if you're drinking or whatever, you yeah. puke, and you're like, "Oh, I feel way better now." Yeah, yeah. let me get another one. Yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> I wonder because you'll have you know we'll, we'll talk about this after the interview, and maybe we'll come by. Of course, we're definitely going to come by your shop, but maybe when we do. You can help me kind of figure it out because I'd love to take very baby steps. You know, I see these commercials where they're like, oh, and I, instead of a glass of wine, I have a half a gummy. And I feel <laughs> and I'm like, well, it's way better for you. But I'm terrified that I'll end up in an insane asylum. Yeah. So I, I need I need <laughs> someone to walk me through. We it. have some awesome non non psychoactive ones. Yeah. Yeah. That will help with pain and sleep and all those very fun nice. things. Um, yeah. And I do. I carry one pre roll, a, a pre roll joint. Uh, most of them are THCA. They're psychoactive. It's sure. what most people want. But I do carry one that is mostly CBD flower with a little bit of the THCA. Mm-hmm. So you, it's just, uh, you know, for the people that want to relax but not get like yeah. stony. And CBD, they just want a little. But it sounds yeah. like that's a good gateway if you're, because I the, I really did enjoy it. That's back, what we've been being told a long time. It's yeah. a gateway. <laughs> it's a gateway. <laughs> but, but I enjoy, when I was, a, when, I refrigerator. Was, when I was a kid and even in my twenties, I mean, I know it's different now. It sounds like an old man, but you could smoke a whole joint and you know, you'd be really high. It's a different level now. So, so here, I've been smoking since I was 18. Yeah. And I'm 41 now. Right. Kind of a late start for most people. Yeah. yeah. But th- throughout my twenties, like, Nothing mattered. Yeah, I could do anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and you know we we know that's how it is with alcohol, where sure. it's like ah, oh, hey, what hangover? I'm 23 years yeah. old. But that's oh. when you get into biology again. But I think I right? hear I think because I hear what your you're... body starts, but your body is changing. Ex- that's too. what it your is. Body changes. So yeah. yeah, all of a sudden when I hit when I hit 30, I started getting anxiety. I didn't know it was anxiety. Mm. I thought I hit some bad weed. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Like, what is this weird feeling in my stomach? Yeah. Um, and then I started to learn uh, that it was anxiety. My cousin suffers from it. And he's like, is it like this and this and that? And you're thinking you're in your head too much? I was like, yeah. He goes, I deal with that every day. Welcome oh, my God. My that's awful. <laughs> uh, so for me, I stay on the sativa side. That's okay. what I. That's what works with my body chemistry. Uh, I love the 50-50 hybrids. Yeah. Um for nighttime, but if I if you get an indica, if you're I go in the indica realm, there's a good possibility, and it's not it, it's really strain specific. Yeah, yeah, and that's a whole nother level. That's the next level of knowing your your chemistry with with whatever. Yeah, right. that's getting in deep. Because yeah, like all those because I was like so excited. I'm looking at all these little certificates on there and reading through like the strain and and the names of them are. By fabulous. the way, our website is very basic because um, we don't want to, we're not selling anything on our website. No. Yeah, all our stuff is age sensitive, and there's plenty of people doing that. Yeah, we're just focused on brick and mortar right now. Yeah, I like that, though. I feel like it doesn't overcomplicate it. I like that you had some test results in there because it makes it feel, for somebody like me at least, like it's... Well, it makes it feel like you're not just... uh, We're going to get into your snacks, too, but it it, it makes me feel like you're not just, you know, handing it out. It's like you're going to walk us through the quality thing. So, Joe, if you're just listening, listener, without the YouTube video, Joe has brought us a bag of goodies and just fished (laughs) something out. So, this is a pre-roll joint. 
I would not recommend this for y'all. Okay. I didn't know if you smoked or not. Or, sure, no. I, uh, I so I brought like we're not date, an array we don't keep it in the house or anything, but we're not. This will rock your world. But the problem is this rocks my world. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The problem is because I'm afraid we, to look at it directly because, <laughs> we, because we don't do it all the time. If we are somewhere where there are smokers and they're passing their shit around, we shouldn't be fucking touching it. Okay? Yeah, 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 like, yeah. And they should be giving us the warning. Yeah. And they're not giving us the warning because we're all partying <laughs> and those little bitches hand it to you and you're like. And, I, and that, so, that story where she went to the fifth, fifth dimension, dimension, I took one hit. Were y'all drinking when this yes, happened? Yes, we were. There it is. Yes. And, and that that there it is. Well, is that's the what the young smokers told us the yeah. next day. But hey, if you're a friend, you go, hey, you're drinking. No. No. Or if you're someone's not, niece. No. Let's see. If what you're what a really good friend, you don't warn them. Let's, let's see what happened. Well, I mean, God, we're 20 years older than these people. They could have went, Dude, Grandpa, were we stop. we not only oh, drinking, yeah, sure. we were doing freaking jello shots and just, yep. just yep. it yep. was yep. just yep. bad. It's, but we shouldn't I had one that. hit as yeah. it went around, and I watched her have a few before I even got to the corner. After my like hit, she, she had a few more. My one hit was, was one of those where for about 20 mm. minutes it was uncomfortable, and then it was okay. But just the one, uh, and so she was mm. rocket launching into space. Yeah. You know? it, was like, <laughs> it was so bad. But, so uh, bad. but anyway, what's, what's in your so I brought yeah. this out because yep. those the the COAs the the test results on our on our website they're for these. Whenever anyone mm. gets a, a pre roll or a um oh a that's... sealed bag. Okay. Whenever you get flour from us, it's in a it's in a sealed bag. Okay. Child resistant. The whole thing. Perfect. You know? Sure, sure. Yeah. Even though there are no uh, regulations right now in North Carolina for hemp products like that. Yeah. We just. That's smart, we know where right? it's going to go. Yeah. I like We're that gonna... you take it to that Absolutely. level already. You're, yeah, we don't you're want a... kids getting in our and you're little ahead, stuff. And you're ahead of the curve, too. You're, it's a you're waste kind of money. Of... Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or the dogs. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's a bad one. Yeah, though. I can't handle that. Poor uh, little puppies. I can't handle that. I mean, does it sound terrible that I couldn't handle seeing that on a dog worse than a kid Child. for me? <laughs> Some dogs love it. Yeah. That's Some dogs so will come over when they see you light it up, and they'll be like, hey. Remember me? Yeah, my mom's dog ate a, a uh, just a little roach one time, uh, and they had to go to the the vet. Oh, he's out of control. All messed up. Little dog, little, little tiny dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, what's in your bag? I'm curious. All right, so goodies. One of the <laughs> one of the most fun things that we do at our shop, besides the cannabis uh, and the glass pipes and stuff like that, yeah. We have exotic snacks and drinks from all over the world. That's oh, pretty nice. cool. Non-medicated. Right. Okay. Uh, our rule in the shop is if a kid can grab it, they can have it. Oh, you know? I like yeah. that. Not have it. You can buy it. You can buy it. But <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's fine for Don't them. Don't put a sign know? up that says that, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, there's no cannabis or anything in uh, any of the snacks or anything that kids can, can grab. So I brought some fun snacks for you guys to try. Oh, very okay. cool. Um, oh, the first thing that fell out... <laughs> This is a peach soda. It's probably our favorite peach soda in the shop from China. Oh, wow. Uh, so please feel free. Oh, enjoy. How cool is that? There's uh, obviously- oh, got to take some pictures of this So stuff. for those listening, it's clear. There's no- One of the great things about foreign uh, drinks is they don't put a lot of like- Additives and Red shit. number 40, yellow number five, all the weird- So it's all clear. Mm. Yeah. As, oh, that's what you meant by clear. Yeah. yeah. It looks like Not water. all of it. Sometimes they use natural coloring. Uh, and to throw it out there too, all of my edible cannabis stuff. Can we try this? Oh, please. Yeah, it's all for you guys. Oh, thank you. This is cool. This uh, would be a cool little short, just you having well, your- that was a, I was trying to video. I'm trying to get better. We were just having this whole conversation. <laughs> it's all a learning yeah. process, Social right? Media. I'm going to do a video of the video. A video of the video. Okay. And where's this one from? China. And this is a China soda. <laughs> Peach soda from China. Oh my God, that's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we were pretty- uh, Pretty excited about that one when we tried wow. it for the first time. Now this is where Dan says, "Would it be good with rum in it?" Yes. Oh, I mean, yes, it absolutely. Wow, that's really uh, good. as well as vodka and gin. <laughs> I would do gin because we it's have botanical. Oh, yeah, that's a vodka yeah. or gin mix for sure. Right? I have mm. lots of sodas that would wow. be great with gin. You know yeah. what I like about it? It doesn't have that weird gummy, sticky aftertaste like a Coke, like yeah. a yeah. syrupy. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Oh, that's a great mm. one. All right. Well, that's number one is a hit. Number so, one snack is a hit. The other drink I brought is a Schweppes mojito from Serbia. What? But the kids can grab this. So is it a is it actually mojito? Yeah. Or is no. Just no alcohol. Flavor? It's just oh, okay. the flavor. Uh, and you want to talk about mixing something with rum? Obviously, mojito one. goes with rum. Yeah. But that is one of my favorite sodas. 
top five sodas of all time oh, for me. We, ah. well, you know, we've got a whole smorgasbord of booze upstairs. We should try this before <laughs> and after with the by, <laughs> by the end of the podcast. We're like, <laughs> what happened? Right. This is a this is a Schweppes mojito Schweppes. from where? Serbia. From Serbia. Yeah, so, the Nikola Jokic special. So, how did you find this stuff? Just curious. Do you just research online? Is it from travel? Hours like, and hours of looking online. Yeah, like finding. Well, like, oh, I learned I about it. Better. Isn't that great? And then you just bring them in, give it a little try, see if you really like it, and then you'll bring keep at it in this the shop. Po- I used wow. to get like one or two to start, just to to see if I liked it. But at this point, I'm just I just get six. That's to amazing. Start and, oh wow! Isn't that good? Yeah. Wow! <laughs> great. Two for two. Schweppes. Through <laughs> more of my research from all this, mm, the oldest good. soda company in the world. Well, you can't get wow. mojito flavor Schweppes mm, here, no. can you? That's no. cool. It tastes yeah. like a mo- mojito. This Straight reminds like me of uh, the celebrity YouTube videos where they have snacks from different countries. Have you ever seen that? Whatever country they're in, they compare. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, very cool. All right. Um, the sodas. Good yeah, stuff. The, the, cool. So I also have a 7-Up mojito from France. But that is like straight licorice. Oh, so and I've noticed from getting mojito is one of my favorite drinks too. Uh, probably, yeah. Yeah. Uh, which I don't like either of those things. Actually, no. I meant Jaeger. It'd probably be Jaeger. Jaeger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Jaeger is yeah. <sighs> I love Jaeger. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. God. I'm from Apopka. I love it. I would apologize as oh. well. <laughs> now that is very medicinal. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I don't uh, mess with the Jaeger. I like it if with the Red cough, Bull. You take a little bit of that at the cough will go away. Really. Yeah. It's I like, like to doing, say it's like doing a hot toddy. Ooh. I like to but say they used I to use that for met, like it it was a it was a um apothecary type thing yeah. that you would keep in your medicine cabinet. I feel like if I if my if my stomach was upset and I needed to throw up, maybe I would try yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> but what's weird about Jägermeister is it it's probably unlike, would work for you. get a good buzz afterwards. <laughs> but unlike all the processed booze, if you read the ingredients of Jägermeister, it's a bunch of spices. It's yeah. like a tincture, as yeah. they call it, it. So it's almost well, like Well, that's a, how it started. Yeah. So it's it's almost like it's better for now when you mix Red Bull in it, you killed them. But you that's the way I would drink it yeah, anyway. Those energy you drinks. need some energy with it, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I like to say I used to drink Jaeger bombs, but let's be honest, if we happen to go out with friends and we do stay out really late and I'm buying the last round, buckle up because we're all having, <laughs> we're all having Jaeger bombs again. That's when I would go, oh, I'll take a lemon drop or some <laughs> right, yeah. fruity that's what, light. Yeah. That's what they try. They try that with me. <laughs> then, I, then I'll be over the trash can puking <laughs> Uber. <laughs> uh, real, so the rule is, you can you can smoke and drink as long as you do it on the whole way. Oh, okay. So if you take a puff or two on your first drink, yeah, you're good. Is it because your body? I mean, no, we're sort of spitballing here. We're all kind of guessing, but is it because when you get too far into one realm or the other after that? It, because I know they they accentuate each other. Right when you're, I love the two of them together. You I just always gotta, did. You just got to know. Yeah. You, you mean know, you just that's can't, when I get on my your, drums. Your and, you you can't just like be like here, <laughs> take five huge hits off this blunt. Well, I think it's also because <laughs> no. we had had six or eight drinks before we went over there. It's too late. You've missed the window of balance. Hundred percent. Right. So you're yeah. the best of us. Your yeah. body's the most screaming. pro smokers in the industry. <laughs> can't do that. Still, we'll get the spins if we don't. If we're not smoking when we when we are drinking, yeah, then uh, we'll get the spins afterwards, and that's yeah. no. So fun. they knew they were doing that to us. Yeah. It was fun to watch the older people r- walk up and try to be cool and <laughs> launch into yeah. space. Oh, I'm going to ruin this for them. It'll be great. <laughs> yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Yeah. Uh, so I know Dan is very interested about um, like getting some gummies or something that have a really nice uh, benefit to like anti-inflammatory. You know, something like that, yeah. and for sleeping, and yeah. for anxiety. What else? Uh, so okay. she's trying I have to tell more you that I have, bag. I have, I have stuff you're talking about, yeah. or I have some more uh, snacks. Oh, very cool. Let's I'm, do the I'm, stuff that we're more. talking about cool. to see just kind of what the product looks like, what you can expect from something like that. Should I have because a, animated explosions as he opens this up? Yeah, because, that's yeah. not white noise. That's the bag. <laughs> because uh. um, CBD is, you know. W- don't we have like cannabinoid receptors all through our body? Yeah, it's the um, uh, CB one receptor. Yeah, and and so then when you're when you're taking in that you know substance, it's connecting to those in your body, and that's what helps with the reduction in 
um, inflammation. inflammation and all that. Yeah, definitely. So I'm not sure if you're familiar with kratom. I think. Oh yeah. It, it's a. So it's a. It's a. I think it's a relative to coffee plant. You would probably know better than I do. I don't know. It's a leaf from Indonesia. Yeah. Um, I, I I should know more. We just we sell kratom shots. Yeah. And and we're about to enter that realm. And can I tell you that when I was going through all of the pain, uh, and I had had tried everything. It wasn't for me for one reason, I'll tell you, but if you're looking for a natural painkiller, it was unbelievable. It yeah. works as good it as does. like a hydrocodone, yeah. and it's not... But So I, you know, the, and I was going like through surgeries, and they give me hydrocodone, I'm afraid to take it because I'm afraid of the addictive stuff yeah, and all absolutely. that. So I, I wouldn't take it unless it was an absolute emergency. But Kratom would do all the same thing, and it is the one sort of natural medicine that I have ever taken that works every bit as good as a prescription medication. Yeah. It blew me away. It, but it you, mimics opiates. Yeah, but you yeah. cannot poop on it if you don't... <laughs> okay, good to know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it will lock you up. Would you like you to up. go into more detail it about that? It will lock you up for... Size, color, frequency. <laughs> Let me turn this interview around. What <laughs> and I will tell you, the guy, we it was like a natural store we used to go to. He would say, yeah, that's a problem. You got to try to take this and magnesium. I'm like, yeah, I can't balance all that, man. I guess I'll just tough out the pain. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but... So yeah, there are warning. things you do. Like if you are going to start taking it, definitely talk to somebody that knows about it because yeah. there are things you can take that will help balance your bowels if yeah, you're going to take it. And you can pain. do too much. Too uh, much. I was yeah, very careful with it. But you can also be sensitive. Oh, I didn't know that could become addictive oh, too. Oh, big time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? So addicts get addicted to it. Yeah. Just like addicts get addicted to anything that well they, i, I you know. know people that i have known people in my life that are addicted to like coca-cola so when we're yeah. talking about ad, addicted i get you know i get a little skeptical just depending on what you mean by like mentally or physically or no there, i think there could be a chemical addiction there. yeah i can yeah. see that because uh, it does feel like a painkiller like yeah. you're mm -hmm. you know yeah and then if you have someone that's coming off of coming off of opiates trying to go the natural way or something like that you know it can uh just o replace it overuse can damage the liver Ooh. of kratom yeah oh you know you're looking at there there's people that literally will just take a handful of powder and shove it down their throat now, yeah. i was taking a it teaspoon sounds, of yeah it and, and mixing it in a drink or something. <laughs> an orange juice was yeah. the thing yeah mm -hmm. a teaspoon it sounds like you were very conscious about your use which it's, is what it sounds is, like is my body is sensitive to every single <laughs> kind of thing <laughs> you can imagine except for alcohol so yeah but, That's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. So what I had, what I brought today, besides the joint that I'm going to smoke after we're done here, yep. uh, <laughs> yeah. I have a chocolate. This is made. This is a uh, a woman owned company down in Brevard. Oh, Brevard's cool. about 45 minutes uh, yep. or southwest of here. We're familiar. Yeah. For the listeners as well. Yeah. 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 Uh, they do all like handmade chocolates, high end, amazing oh. chocolates, uh, as well as language. gummies. Yeah. So this is a only CBD, oh, non-psychoactive. Nice. Oh. You guys are good to go with this. This is a 20 mil CBD chocolate. Uh, the flavor is berry cake dark chocolate. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have to talk to this person. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh. These are amazing. Very cool. Yum. Well, we're going to have to talk to meet this person for sure. And, yeah. Oh man. Uh, I can I can definitely hook you up. Oh, that'd be so yeah. great. And we'd love to go to her shop. The owner and her right-hand woman, yep. who I went to high school with down in Homestead. Uh, what a small world. Uh, yeah. Uh, they're great and they are so fun to talk to. Oh, I love it. It will light the room up. Oh, very cool. So, so it's this, funny that whenever we said, we're, hey, we're going to move here when we were in vacation, people would say, are you from Florida? So it must be like a, <laughs> must be like a thing. She was the first one out of all of us to move here. Oh, really? She was here two years before me and I've been here nine years now. Oh, I'm okay to cool. eat this, right? Yeah. 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 It's just CBD, uh, you know, a little muscle relaxation. I want to try it right on the air so I can. do it yeah the uh the chocolate itself is i always warn people when they buy the psychoactive ones i said warning the chocolate is incredible so you need to get the chocolate and just try it itself too right yeah i would i, I would have this with dan or what's well, just no, CBD. Oh, just for, for for to try it yeah it's just uh it's just cbd just cbd non-psychoactive so i would say share it just so y'all can oh it's like good dark chocolate yeah. too. <laughs> mm. yep all quality quality like I said, I vet very hard who oh, gets it, represented in my shop. Oh, berry cake dark chocolate. That is so good. And you taste the... Mm. Would you have a half? Yeah. Of oh, it's so I good. Too. Kidding me? <laughs> so mm. there's actually uh, crack cocaine in there. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> see how much batteries left on our equipment. I got you guys good. Uh, 
So this one mm-hmm. is a coconut crunch dark chocolate. It has 10 milligrams of CBD and 10 milligrams of Delta 9. So this one, maybe, maybe not. Uh, I brought it just in case. Okay. For me, 10 milligrams of Delta 9, I, I'm nowhere near feeling that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but this it is, is therapeutic. I think you and I should eat this one another night. Well, I mean, it's up to you. You can have some of it right now. It's no. definitely I've for had you alcohol. Guys. So I'm. I'll I'm, wait. This one I'm going to take back well, with that me. was good. I don't want anything weird <laughs> to happen while I'm on the video. <laughs> it might become a viral sensation. <laughs> so. It could. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are just singing Pink Floyd in the corner. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> That will get 8 million views yes. on TikTok. For and sure. copyright tagged, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this bitch losing her mind. Yeah. It's hilarious. I can't They're stop They're singing the wrong lyrics it. anyway, so there's no copyright infringement. <laughs> what is this? I see mushrooms on there. So this is something we're, we're just starting to get into, and I'm really loving it. It's an adaptogen bar. Okay. We've been talking about adaptogens lately. Because they can replace um, alcohol, too, if you're trying uh, yeah. to do like a cleanse or something. Well, nothing really replaces alcohol. No. But, <laughs> but what is an adaptogen? Go ahead. Oh, God. Expert. I'm just learning about okay. adaptogens. So it's things like lion's mane mushrooms, oh, I, we're turkey ta- I've been ta- tail, I, reishi, uh, okay. yeah. all these things that they have adapted over millions of years of the earth to the climate of the earth. They've been here for hundreds of millions oh, of years. Right? We could sure. get into a whole topic on mushrooms. That's a, that's yeah. a fine and dandy after dark episode. Yes. But yeah, I love it's that. In, it's very interesting. <laughs> we do that, by the way, once in a while. We've done one. We've got another one lined up. We just talk about Fun. weird shit after. Fun. Yeah. yeah, like aliens and stuff like that. But I yeah. love it. Um, but mushrooms. So I the medicinal value of mushrooms, I think, is Which may be aliens. We, we don't know yet. That's well, right. That's what we talk about. <laughs> yeah. well, it's like one of the largest, if not the largest organism on earth, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. So this one in particular is very strong, which is why I'm I'm not even going to leave it with y'all. Yeah, sure. That one, you can nibble on it. You'll be I'm sure you'll be fine. Sure. Yeah. This one heavy, but I have these with no cannabis in them as well. Mm, okay. Uh, let me let me just read some of the things in this. Uh, I'm really excited about these. It's made in uh, the guy makes them in Marshall. Which oh, is, yeah, we've, we've been lo- to Marshall. We yeah, drove through another that thirty minutes. That is a away charming town. little town, man. It's, a cute it's like little a, town. it's like Mayberry. It's so cool. If all the people in Mayberry did whitewater rafting, yeah, yeah, I just that is the a, charm of driving through. And you know, Netflix did a show so there, there a couple last year, the year before. Yeah, they um, recorded something. There. Uh, a show. I Peripheral. Can't remember the name. Periphery. The wonderful white. Oh no, that was the West Virginia. Peripheral. Uh, <laughs> periphery, isn't it? Peripher- Peripheral. 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 <laughs> We're gonna keep saying the I, opposite. There was back. nothing in the chocolate. Okay, I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> like, the CBD is messing me up. <laughs> uh, so I'm, I'm really getting into. You know, we're 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 a fun store. We have sure. all the fun mm-hmm. things, yeah. but we're also about the health. We're also about clean living, clean. Uh, products, things like that. I so love that. this bar in general, and like and I said, it seems like you're trying to really support your local community and the it's products. All, it's that all it's all about local. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Love it. absolutely. So, what are the ingredients in there? You're going to read those. So, uh, I, or are you going to? I'm assuming you said, let me read all the. Yeah, I'm going to read just some of the the the, the really ones. good things here. So, obviously, we have the the hemp extract. Yep. Uh, tapioca syrup. Uh, holy basil. I don't know. I don't know if this is dulce or dulce. Uh, in Miami, we would say dulce. Uh, yeah. Um, lion's mane extract, reishi extract, turkey tail extract, maca root, turmeric, licorice root, citric. Oh, the citric acid. That's normal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> ashwagandha, astragalus. Whoa. Uh, uh, tartaric acid. I don't know what that one is. Sweet cinnamon. Well, it looks uh, like a candy bar almost. It's a it's a gummy bar. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah. We got ginger, black pepper oil, monk fruit as a sweetener. Anti-inflammatory S- stuff. This is all super anti-inflammatory. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But uh, you're, you're going to get a buzz from it. This one, this one's very <laughs> heavy. Like, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm not eating a whole square of this one. Okay. All uh, right. In fact, I made him. So it comes in squares. So you would take like a little dose. I have these three. These are three squares, which oh, personally look, I would cut uh, into looks quarters. looks awfully big to me. <laughs> So I'm not looking directly at that one either. <laughs> yeah. Look away. I'm gonna keep this uh the back to you so you don't see it. Yeah. If you if that rubs on your skin or this something. This is on I there for a done. reason. And what it is, it's warning. a little it's a little warning symbol with a a, a cannabis leaf and an exclamation point. But okay. I do have these with no cannabis in them as well. Just for the So if you want all the medical benefits yeah. from, oh, I love from that. these things. Yeah. 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 Uh, I ate one earlier today. Well, it's fantastic. Yeah, we're, Very nice. we're excited to come by. So how much of that would you need to 
eat for the the medicinal benefits? Still just do like one little serving? Is a, a square serving or is it the whole entire bar? <laughs> I would eat a square. The guy that makes these, he's an old hippie dude. He's retired. He grows his own uh, hemp, which he uses in here. Like, it's so clean and so good. But he's like, I eat the whole ball. I eat the whole square, man. And I'm like, yeah, dude, but (laughs) you're on a different level. No, but I think she meant the non-psychoactive one, though. Oh, Oh, yeah. Like, for the medicinal, just medicinal purpose. I eat the whole square of the non-psychoactive one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is why I wanted it, because I wanted the whole square. Yeah. Yeah. For all, you know, obviously for all the benefits, but 50 milligrams of D9 is a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot. But see, yeah. that's why like people like us, when we come in the store, it's nice to have people that are educated on it and can kind of guide you yeah. instead of us just going, oh, I like the shape and color of that one. <laughs> you know? And I'll be honest, one of the biggest things that I tell, uh, uh, you know, my employee and, and uh, everyone in my shop, if I don't know, I'm going to tell you, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, and then we'll Google it together. Or something, yeah, but you know? that's that's appreciated. Appreciated instead of you just making something I'm up. I'm not trying to bullshit anybody. Yeah. There's yeah. so much of that out there. Well, plus you, you go to certain you're... shops and they're just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, yeah it's okay. fine. Okay. But well, you okay. go home and you, and you and you have you're in a different dimension, exactly. and then you're never coming back because yeah. you don't trust the guy, right? So that's oh, what for I'm saying. sure, that, yeah. that's where I would yeah. feel like your repeat customers are. Yeah. yeah, you know, that's where that retail experience comes in, though. Also having you know a passion about it, you know. Liking to partake yourself all of and the, want to have a good time when you partake. Yeah, instead and working of it, for myself. Yeah. Like, it all kind yeah. of yeah. is a combination of I mean, it the just, good vibes in the show. It sounds like everything kind of fell into the place that it needed to when you... Lots of hard work. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know, I always course. say it's, you know, it's about uh, uh, you got to be at the right place at the right time, yeah. but you got to be ready. You do. Also. And you, you know. have to be recognizing that the things are lining up for for you to take that leap or that and, step and, and be ready for the leap, not just mm-hmm. mentally, but like not physically. What am I trying to say? Like, uh, uh, just prepared with your knowledge of whatever you're jumping yeah. into, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I would say, uh, and this is maybe me leaning into the corporate stuff a little more too, but I would say you got to be mentally, men- mentally, mentally, mentally. Yeah, that CBD's kicking in. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Where are we? Um, <laughs> help me. It's mentally, usually me doing stuff like that. Mentally, physically, but financially, like you have to be ready to jump when opportunity hits, yeah. and yeah. it can't just be like a dream. You have to be. You have to. The be. financially part was the uh, the part that we weren't ready for, but yeah. luckily we had proven ourselves enough to where we had a couple uh, investors that believed in us. Nice. Yeah. So when I left, that's part of that networking that you did, though, making connections. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? Absolutely. Yeah, that's great. Uh, and that was why we were ready. You know, yeah. we, we were ready for it. Uh, when we left that one company and, and started our own, we did the same thing. We mm-hmm. were representing artists. I was on the road, and we did that for for three years. And then mid twenty twenty two, when the economy started to uh, go poo poo, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, and I saw gas prices jack up. I was in Illinois; it was like six fifty, yeah, a holy gallon. Holy. Yeah, <laughs> that's not a traveling all over the country mm-hmm. scenario. No, yeah. <laughs> That's Even through COVID, I was like, here we go, yeah. you know, but once gas prices hit, I was like, oh, yeah, what do you yeah. do now? We have to figure something else out. Uh, but I, I still, we still did that for as long as we could until, because when the economy goes, things like a glass pipe, you know, like, oh, that's pretty. I'll buy it. That no longer exists, yeah. right? Yeah, extra money. So yeah. our sales just started going down. Of course. Yeah. And we were like, what are we going to do? Yeah. We, you know, yeah. we don't want to go find jobs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That sucks. Yeah. Pivot. <laughs> yeah, so I talked to a lot of shop owners and and I just gathered data of yeah. what was selling for everybody around the country and uh, consumables was the overall answer. Mm. Oh, you know what? That's sort of the inside baseball you got from the delivery job. Oh of, man, so much inside knowledge. Yeah, yeah. of yeah. what what we, to really to to clear away all the stuff they're not selling and don't even carry it. Yeah, I and don't just, even have all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Just carry what you know was selling all over the country. That's brilliant. Which leads to people walking. A, a I, I, we sweep and mop and and you know we keep yeah. it clean. Sure, but. I think part of when people come in and they say uh, this place is really nice and clean is I don't have all that clutter yeah. that a lot of smoke shops That's have. That's exactly what yeah. I thought. It looks just – it hones in on the good products. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like these are the good products. That's kind of what the And then like with vape batteries, like for a cartridge, uh, I basically have two. Yeah. I yeah. have the cheap kind and I have the good kind. Yeah. Yeah. You don't, that's, you don't need twelve different two, things to choose from. No, right? there's two yeah. kinds of. Uh, there's two. I'm going to keep hitting this microphone. 
<laughs> <It's okay. laughs> us Miami people talk with our hands, you know. Uh, there's two kinds of, of, of customers when it comes to that. It's just give me whatever d- the cheapest thing you have is or what do you use? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Here's we just only have what we use. Yeah, so Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's no. I've never had anyone be like, ah, no, I wish, wish your battery selection was better. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, nobody. Like so you're Amazon, cutting through the fluff whatever. for that. Yeah. How long has the the company been in business now? So our company, the uh, Golden Carol- Goat. The Golden Goat. That's a DBA of ours. Oh. Our company okay. is called Carolina Glass Company, and we've okay. been in business for four years. Okay. Very uh, nice. The Golden Goat has been uh, an entity. For eleven months now, next oh, month, next month is our I didn't one year. Realize how new you guys are? That's oh, awesome. Yeah, that, well, that is, is fantastic. Also, well, coming up on a year, that is yeah, awesome. pretty stoked. We have four twenty coming up. We have our one yep. year coming up. Oh, that's Very true. Four twenty. It is yep. our. It's our holiday. Yeah, you yep. know, um, and it's what we dread. What <laughs> going into it? <laughs> What's uh, what does Golden Goat mean? Uh, like, where'd you come up with that name? So, Golden Goat is a strain. Oh, it's a strain originally uh, uh, grown in Kansas, actually. Which has nothing to do with us, but yeah. just a, some info on yeah. it. Um, when we were going through different names, I didn't want to pinjin pinjin. That's a new P- word. Pinjin. I didn't want to CBD pin- kicking we, in. Yeah. You know what though? We, 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 we like new words on this show because I come up with them all the time. Every episode, she yeah. does a new one. So you did it this time. Yeah, pinjin. Write it down. Uh, it's gonna be in the dictionary. So we day. didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves by. It's, nowadays, it seems like that. Yeah. Uh, we didn't want to pigeonhole ourselves with like Asheville. Of course. Blah, yeah. blah, blah shop or North Carolina or whatever, you know. Uh, so I thought it would it would be cool. There used to be a restaurant downtown called Blue Dream. Okay. Uh, Curry House. Right. And it was so oh. many people's favorite restaurant because they actually paid their employees a living wage. It was a no-tip restaurant, right? Um, and I knew the owner. I was there when they were building it, mm-hmm. you know, so I, I talked with them and I was like, Blue Dream? Is that? And he gave me the smile and the uh, nod. He's like, it's my favorite strain. Oh, it's a strain. I was like, that's the best. So <laughs> it is kind of a, a, a nod to those guys at Blue oh, Dream. Okay, that's cool. cool. Um, but we were just going through all the different strain names, and there's hundreds and hundreds, oh, if I not bet. thousands of strain names yeah. at yeah. this who point. Who comes up with them, though? Just whoever the, grows them? The, the, the person who mixes... The genetics. The genetics. Together. So okay. let's say there's a strain called Girl Scout cookies, mm-hmm. and then there's a strain called Gelato. You mix those together. We have Gelato cookies at our shop right now. Okay, oh. gotcha. Um, it's like the soap almost that uh, that Minnie does, where they yeah. she names it based on the mixes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's literally the same thing. Yeah. Um, or some stoners being like, "We should name this." <laughs> uh, we have a strain called Gary Payton. Yeah, <laughs> who is a basketball player for yeah, the yeah. Seattle Supersonics? <laughs> yeah, and won a championship with Miami Heat uh, in 2006. No yeah. big deal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> my favorite team, by the way, um, Miami Heat. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, you're from Miami. I'm such a IT non-sports guy that I'm like, uh, <laughs> so what? I hope they made some foreign. touchdowns. I'm the. Oh. I'm, <laughs> it's so funny. I'm I'm the actor music nerd that also loves sports. Yeah. I thought you that know? was not funny. allowed, but I know, yeah. I know. Yeah. I'm the black That's, sheep of both. That is uh, an oxymoron. <laughs> I'm, we're not allowed to do that. But well, we're so excited to come in and check it out and get I'm some excited for you guys for come us out, for that sure. can you know, we'll we'll baby steps. We'll start with yep. baby steps. And but definitely some things. I'm dealing with some inflammatory issues too. I just went to the doctor today for um plantar fasciitis was just inflammation yeah i have a couple of those in my in my backyard planted next to plantar fasciitis what, yeah, yeah. I, always, some I always call it plantar fasciitis and then she has to fix it for me so but you know you can get steroid shots and i'm like no and you can get anti-inflammatories and i'm like eh i'll take them if i need them yep, because yep, you yep. don't know what but, else they're doing to you i mean you know meloxicam yeah. and all that stuff so i really need something that's yeah I'm, gonna so i'm with you i'm like I've taken a Vicodin once. Yeah. When I had my teeth pulled. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Other than that, like you know, yeah. maybe some some allergy medicine yeah. or something. And I'll I'm, take Advil even, but sometimes I'm like, I don't know what it's doing to me. So yeah, I I think we prefer the natural route. I mean, you know. I've had hip surgery and I've taken the pain meds, and I think it was literally what did I take it for like one night? And I said I don't want any more of that. 
And then I woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah. You wake up and your yeah. body is in shock. They do their job. They yeah, do their job. And I'm sure. like, okay, I do need it for maybe like two more nights and then that's it. <laughs> if you have a good head on your shoulder, you, yeah. can, you can, you know, keep yeah, track but of everything. Yeah. But for me, I don't even have that. Like, she doesn't like the way it makes me feel. I love the way those things oh, make me feel. That's, that's, why, that's I, why I don't want to take them. We're yeah. very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that one bike in yeah. I took, like yeah. I had the best sleep of oh, my it's life. amazing. Uh, yeah. My girlfriend took one too. She was like, well, if you're taking one, I'm taking one. Uh, and we yeah. had a great night, sure. you know, yeah. but that's, that's for what, the after dark podcast. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that's also why, like, I, I will keep that bottle for an emergency. It'll last me 10 years. Cause it's like, if you ever get hurt or something bad, it works, Yep. but it's the people that are just popping them like candy that are, but oh, I'd still so rather scary. have a natural. I mean, if we, if we could find something that's, I know it'd be baby steps, but find something yeah. that's helping me. I'd love that. Yeah. I, I think with the, with the adaptogen, sorry, let's try that again. Yeah. Uh, I think with the adaptogen mm-hmm. uh, area, you can you can really find comfort yeah. Uh, yeah. with that. Quick story: I, I gave one of these to one of my customers Uh-oh. who's on methadone. Oh, yeah, okay. high doses of it. Wow! It's her and her partner come in. They're both recovering, um, and, and they it's been a for both of them. It's been a while. They're they're kicking ass yeah. at it, and. Yeah. Uh, He's on lower doses of methadone. She's on higher doses. And so he can feel the gummies, but she can't. Mm. Oh, wow. So I was like, well, try this. It's my strongest gummy, but also it has all these good things about it. Yeah. She came back saying that's the first time that she has not been in pain and hadn't had to take something bad. all this other stuff. Oh, yeah. that's great to hear, though. Wow. Which I was like, that... That's a testament. Yeah. I call. Like, I literally emailed the guy. I was like, I need all your things, you know? Yeah. So we have uh, his tinctures now. Oh, oh wow. wow. Yeah. Oh, he's making the good One stuff. One of the tinctures, yeah. it has all this stuff, but it also has dandelion and... Dandelion's really good for you. Oh, one of oh, there's another one that's just like dandelion, like, like they're anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, yeah. Yeah. anti-fungal, mm. anti-all this stuff. Oh, wow. Well, CBD is, so cannabis many. is anti-fungal. Yeah, there's so many things that, that are like that. It's... Oh. When you see, have you ever seen yeah. the hemp crete, like uh-uh. hemp concrete? Uh-uh. No. They can build a house with hemp, uh, and it's oh antifungal. So you you no mold, no mold. I didn't yep. know that. And well. why the frick aren't we? I, I've watched a documentary <laughs> on this before. It the way it grows, it just like using bamboo. Why aren't we using these type of things? It anymore? puts nutrients back into the ground. Puts nutrients into the ground. Yeah, more oxygen in the it's air. A lot of takes powers. More, CO2 out of the air and has so many versatile um, benefits, benefits uh, things you can use it for. Not like to you mention, can, you know, clothing and clothing yeah, all and, that. Uh, hair a, products. And I mean, it's It's the cleanest burning oil. You can run your car off of it. I know. Isn't it yeah. crazy? There's a lot of powers at play, yeah. I'm sure. That Even are bamboo. We've, we've it. had um, <laughs> a, a lady on who the, oh, had yeah. a bamboo farm. And she, you know, planted all the bamboo in like the Disney area and everything. And she knows all about it. But she makes products out of bamboo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's wonderful um, facial products for skin care. Yeah. I mean, all sorts of stuff. I was like, what? I have a bamboo Pepsi at my shop. Oh, we got to come. I can't wait yeah, to we're come Yeah, we're going to come. Tell everybody where you're located. We are located in Swannanoa. Swannanoa. Uh, or uh, any Asheville listeners, you may know it as Swannanowhere. <laughs> but we Wait, are don't turning. Don't you have a river though? We do the Swannanoa okay, River. Yeah, uh, it's right behind our that's shop. How I know actually, their name. <laughs> like literally, we have oh, to walk cool. around the building, but it's right behind our shop. Very uh, cool. We like to say we're making Swannanoa nowhere, Swanna somewhere. Oh, uh, that's, that's nice my dad joke. Yeah. <laughs> that's a bad joke for the day. Uh huh. Like yeah. it. Check. You have uh, another catchphrase. I know we got to wrap up here, but you have another catchphrase from your website, and I paraphrased it a bit, but basically it's everyone is different, including their thoughts and their mood, which I thought was very... I never yeah. hear anybody say that, but that's incredibly true. And I don't That's know, on our website? Yeah. That's my business partner. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't... Know, like, <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> it made me think of the customer service aspect, because you never know what you're dealing with, but also what product you need in there because yeah. it that plays into that yeah. so I mean, we get people in all, all the moods yeah, yeah yeah we we get the people of all the spectrums of what the brain can be yeah yeah I, we've i mean just in the 11 months we've been open we've seen a wide spectrum of of different kinds of people yeah which I love. Uh, yeah, it's one of, of my favorites. And you're just going to continue to see grow that customer yeah. base like that too, yeah. especially yeah. as people get more educated on it and know that, you know, because I know someone like my mom is like very anti yeah. drugs or anything. Yep, yep. But when you can prove the 
medicinal benefits. I had to are, do it with my mom. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> it's it, it it doesn't need to get you high. You can still take this and it's just going to benefit make, you. Yeah. It's just going to make you feel better. Well, you know? Getting high and it's okay. isn't necessarily bad. <laughs> no, yes. I, I'm absolutely on board with that too. I just don't want to see God when I do it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> um, but that brings me to my next point. Do you know about my Lord and Savior? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> so we're in Swanano. We gotta go. Two three three eight U.S. seventy Swannanoa. Uh, it's literally like a ten minute drive from downtown Asheville East, straight east. Before we go, oh, there's more. Oh, we oh got more gosh. products. Let okay. me let me show more. you guys these chips. He oh, more boy. snacks. Nice, very nice. So this is my favorite. One of my Whoa. favorite bag of chips. This is from Thailand. Uh, I'm not sure how to say this, but it is literally like all the awesome Thai flavors is that it, you love from Thai food. Is it Lay's? It is Lay's. It is Lay's. Oh. Yeah. Oh, we got to take a picture of this. Like, yeah. it's all, this is really cool. So you see, there's a bunch of herbs and stuff here. You taste all of those: the onions, the basil, the cilantro, the lime. Like, see, you I know, love it. You're pretty smart to have all these snacks in your store. Well, yeah. what what do stoners love the most <laughs> after? But but you know what I love about snack. it too? Like, I'm not trying to crap on our our wonderful country because I do love my country, but we have like you know macaroni and cheese fried chicken flavored delays and they have like all these delicious herbs and stuff this is crazy. if you go to the grocery i took a picture one time we have about seven flavors over 10 different brands and that's it and yeah. that's about yeah. it yeah yeah but so, we were talking about the other day why is it ketchup mustard and mayonnaise is pretty much on every single solid table <laughs> exactly. in the country what, like how, how did it make the three what's the don't forget well, ranch now it's not yeah. on the table but we love our yeah, ranch that's true we need to get a good picture of that that is cool it's very cool. So that one's a, a pretty easy, wanna, palatable... Is this too loud? No, it probably sounds <laughs> delicious. You should eat it right into the microphone. Maybe. I'm going to try all of this for oh, right yes. now. It smells good. This is now an ASMR. I was going to say ASMR. <laughs> is it oh, good? Oh, wow. And I've noticed a lot oh, of times these are really oh, neat. Yeah, they are. yeah a lot, uh, our our taste buds are just so used oh, to American wow. food that something like this can be really weird at first, but once you kind of dive into it, it starts to really really weird. Will we? <laughs> really weird. Willy weird. <laughs> <laughs> I always point it out. Speaking of Willy Wield. Wow. Wow. Are... You know what it is? It almost has like a sweet flavor at first. And yep. then, then you start tasting all the seasoning. Well, it's got yeah. some lime, I see. Mm. Mm. So the next bag. Man, this is like the best interview ever. No, this is... <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nobody's brought us this much snacks before. These are some Lay's from China. This is hot and sour lemon braised chicken feet flavor. Oh my god, I'm gonna love this one. Enjoy, my friends. I'm I am. Not... I can already tell I'm gonna love this one. <laughs> it's chicken, chicken feet. feet. Before you open that, because I know we gotta wrap it up. Wow. These are some oh, Hello cool. Kitty strawberry marshmallow candies uh, from Japan that I've absolutely fallen in love with. I'm a 41 year old man that buys Hello Kitty uh, marshmallow <laughs> candy. <laughs> But uh, enjoy. Wow. They are. Oh awesome. wow, they are. They're like marshmallow, little marshmallow oh my balls. Gosh. Joe, thank you so much for coming out to meet with us, for bringing us all these wonderful treats, and uh, for educating us. We can't wait to come out to your shop. My absolute pleasure, man. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's very nice to meet you. And for being our first guest. Hey, I'm so stoked about that. That kind of stuff means so much to me. That is awesome, man. Nailed it. Thank you. you. That you will always be our first North Carolina studio guest. Boom. You will be. Thank you, guys. (laughs) Yes, thank you, Joe. Really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for listening. And remember, at the end of each and every day... It's It's all all fine and dandy. Hi, guys. We hope you enjoyed the show today. If you did, we would love a review. So make sure to head over to your Apple Podcast app or whatever app you listen to your podcast on and give us a five-star review. Also, give us a like and a follow on our social media. You can find that all under Fine and Dandy. And if you want to find out more about our guest or about us, head over to findandangie.com.